The following podcast has been rated Listener MA. It contains strong language, violence, adult situations, nudity. Listener discretion is advised. In the walkway, a poop. (laughs) 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 The womb nuke. Uh, I see a picture I do of me naked. <laughs> I'll tell you a picture of me naked, you'll love it. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of the Laughing on the Sidelines podcast. I'm your host. My name is Scotty German, a.k.a. Scooter McFuckstick. And alongside me, I guess, finally, uh, we have two excellent stand-up comedians. First, he is the only two-time funniest person in Wichita, Kansas. Please welcome back Mr. Derek the Wreck Alders. That's right. Only two time for a couple more months and probably another one. Then three time. Nope, yeah. I'm not entering this. Oh, one. you're not? Nope, nope. I'm going to host it. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay, that's cool. Yeah, I'll host the finals. I'm not going to enter it. That's good. Good for you. But ladies and gentlemen, please welcome back the 1984 Kingman County T-Ball Defensive Player of the Year Award winner, Mr. Jeremy Joseph. Hi, Jeremy. I'm already fucking bored. I know. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Welcome back for those of you Pick it up, asshole. Yeah. For those guys who do not know, this is... Can I call you J-Jo? Sure. All right. That, that was sounds if great. I, if I ever become a clown, I'm going to be JJ the clown. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean a, if? When well, do you become? You just you got to set a goal. I, got, I do. I got to think more positive. I got to think more positive. If I believe in you, yeah, I, I think just, you can do it. I don't know if I can pass those entrance exams to clown college. <laughs> I think you got it. I think you can do it. it. Here's what's really weird. They focus a lot on trigonometry. Oh, and that's not really my bag, you know. <laughs> Yeah. Can you squirt a flower? <laughs> of course I can squirt a flower, Derek. Very Don't good. Talk to me like I'm stupid. Can, can you can you fit eight people of our size in, in my ass? Yes. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Right in my asshole. That's great. You. And I've been JP. working on that with uh, the new neighbors are a little shocked, <laughs> but you know that's just how you welcome them in. You make them a part of things. That's good. That's very good. Good job there, Jeremy. Uh, but ladies and gentlemen, uh, this is the original crew. This is uh, just so happens to be um, the one time a year I think we actually get to finally do a show. All three of the original three get to do a show or whatever. Yeah, we're the unfiltered sportscast today. That, that's mm. right. <laughs> Uh, either that or horse talk. Which one do you want? Oh, always horse talk. Uh, horse talk? Yeah. It can okay. be horse talk anytime. Okay. Mm-hmm. Anytime is horse talk. Fair enough. Uh, but it's it's Special guest Styx is on the show. <laughs> Styx. Styx is here, everybody. Hey, yeah. Hey. I keep trying to manage those guys. <laughs> but they tell you no. They just don't get back to me. Oh, yeah. okay. You're stuck with I write stones. to them at Styx at Styx.com. <laughs> <laughs> I assume that's, that, that has to be their email address. <laughs> Yeah, probably. What if it's spelled every way but the band? Yeah. It's, it's like S-T-I-C-K-S at S-T-I-X dot com. Yeah, that's what I would do. S-T-Y-C-K-S. Just to fuck with me. That's great. But it also just so happens to be, I was counting because I knew we were getting close. But if you take away the two episodes, the COVID episode and... Uh, another one where we had to like play an old episode for whatever reason. This today, this episode is episode number three hundred. We and did it. An interesting thing is, is if you add those episodes in, and then another six hundred and ninety-seven. It is our thousandth episode, episode today. <laughs> yeah, is one thousand. Yeah. Here's the amazing thing: if these. Well, okay, if we really kept track, every one of these episodes has been a fucking strikeout. (laughs) We are 10% on our way to the Hall of Fame. (laughs) Yeah. Uh, but anyway, so everybody, welcome in. If this is the Another very twenty seven hundred more, that right. was three Adam Dunn seasons. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Good job. Uh, but ladies and gentlemen, if this is the very first time you've ever listened to the Laughing on the Sidelines podcast, this is a comedy podcast. We like to make very inappropriate jokes about the current events that are going on in sports, and very inappropriate jokes that have nothing to do with sports whatsoever. This is also an adult podcast where we like to use foul language and offend people who have very thin skin. So if that's you, 
fuck you. Get out of here. Thank you. Have a nice day. Can I make a suggestion? Sure. Uh, I know I'm not a big part of the show anymore, but you are. You're still I a think part. for new listeners, they should have. It should be a rule. Uh, not that there's necessarily like a subscription fee, but they should have to contact you and ask permission to come over. <laughs> <laughs> I should start screening we, listeners. We, we run this nautically. Yeah. You can, you can email us at sticks at sticks. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Sounds great. What uh, if they get an immediate fucking response <laughs> <laughs> from sticks? It's from Mr. Roboto. Himself. <laughs> yeah, I understand. Okay. You want to listen to that podcast? Okay. Do me a favor. Talk to the asshole who <laughs> substitutes in on there sometimes. <laughs> no, he can't manage us. <laughs> That's great. Uh, but ladies and gentlemen, we do have an excellent episode for you this week. As always, we have hot topics, which I can't sing. My voice is still getting better, so but it's improving. Uh, sure we, it is. Yeah. Uh, we have never have I ever. Congratulations to JP on that, by the way. What? For what? Uh, I'm guessing that's what knocked your voice loose. Knocked your <laughs> no. vocal cords around a little bit. I don't know. He, he's been at the house watching my dogs for the, uh, like a week and a half ago. And so I don't know. Maybe he came on something and it just got in there. I, I have think no he idea. came on everything. Probably. Oh, there's yeah. no doubt. <laughs> yeah. 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 Including that bowling pin. <laughs> yeah. I walk into my house and, and the floor is just covered in cum. It's like fucking P. Diddy's house with baby oil. That Donatello uh, statue is fighting off a wad of jizz to <laughs> <head right laughs> of yeah uh but no anyways i'm getting better though uh we also have never have i ever we have that's where i draw the line questions in perguntas a draft and as always a shitty situation but before we do that we always like to talk about what's happened to us over the last week we call it our week week recap so uh yeah we're gonna go ahead and go with Derek alders Derek, you haven't been here in a while yeah it's great to have you back I know it was reluctant. I had to. I had to pry you out of your home in order for you to get here. But that was mainly yes. because you were, uh, you That's know, because my fat ass was wedged in. <laughs> yeah, exactly. By six hundred pound. Line. I got very <laughs> narrow doors. That, very. Yeah, yeah, that's good. I had to use some of P Diddy's baby oil all, to get me out. That's, he went with all fifteen inch doors to save some money. <laughs> yeah. Turns out, bad move. Yeah, it's that's a good bitch shit. to get furniture in there. Yeah, you that. can only buy ready to assemble stuff. <laughs> Uh, but no, man, how have you been? I know you've been doing a lot of baseball. Baseball season's over for you. So yes. uh, what you been up to, buddy? Man, uh, been uh, I did the Regal Unlimited. I did do that. So I've been going to Regal. some movies. Oh, yeah. I got gotcha, you. I got gotcha. you. Yeah. Uh, so done that. We went to... It's, it's a Buick thing, right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Every six months, you get a, a new Regal. Nice. <laughs> Straight in your old one. No, and you get an old one. What's that cost you a month? <laughs> I got to know. Uh, $600. But you get a new Regal. <laughs> Every six months. And Every six months. But yeah. you have to pay 600 a month. A year. A year. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah. That's not a bad price. No, that's not bad. a bad lease on a lease. It's a not. And I'll tell you what, man. The way the cassettes play through those speakers. Oh, yeah. yeah. Amazing. Fuck, yeah. It's fucking amazing. Um, it is. <laughs> it's like Styx is in the car with you. <laughs> Are, <laughs> I mean, uh, I'm sure they got Sparkomatic 6x9. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Blau punk yeah. yeah. Oh, blah punk for sure. Yeah. You just you just described like one of my cars when I was sixteen <laughs> with the Did you have a bass cannon in it. <laughs> no, but I had the blah punk speakers and a Sparkomatic CD player. Nice detachable face. Of, of course, yeah. of course. Did you have, did to put you that have in the uh, under dash equalizer with mm -hmm. the booster, one hundred and fifty watt booster? <laughs> no, I did not have no. that. I had I had two audio bonds and four blah punks. I had six twelves. Oh so, God! Yep. In the trunk. Yep. Fuck. I no, got you no Scotty, under the hood. <laughs> <laughs> well, the whole a, thing ran on vibration. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> he truly was all about the yeah. bass. <laughs> They're like, how many tweeters you running under there? <laughs> oh, God. That's fucking hilarious. I bet you that trunk rattled like a son of a bitch. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> Fuck yeah, it did. Um, so, yeah, I've been going to some movies. Uh, we went to see Green Day in uh, August, which was At the movies? Uh-huh. Yeah, wow. they were playing live. What movie the were theater. they playing? So no, we went to see them in concert. Oh, ah, gotcha. um, where at? Uh, that was it. I guess it used to be the Sandstone or something. It's in Kansas, oh, in Kansas City. City. Okay. Yeah, they were fucking that great. amphitheater. Yes, the the theater was cool too. Um, but they were great. So we went and did that. Uh, went to I went to some baseball games in July. I don't remember when I was here last. <laughs> You've been gone a while. You've been gone for, I think, two months. Yeah. Two or three. Yeah. So I've, I've went to some baseball games. We booked vacation again for next year. Ooh, where are you going next year? We're going to go back to Costa Rica. Oh, really? Yeah, okay. Yeah. You had met, a good time. We did. We had a great time. We met a, met a cool dude down there that we enjoyed hanging out with, or we're going to go hang out with this time. And, That's good. Uh, we're going to do did some stuff we him? didn't get to do. Yeah. Yeah. yeah does, okay. he know, does he know this is happening? Yeah. He offered us to stay at his place. Oh. We, we're not going to. 
Oh, but uh, he's too good for that, folks. No, oh. that didn't. sounds like a raping ready to have. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's why Katie was in. Uh, but I was. But it, yeah, yeah. It's a Costa Rican raping. So it's called a Costa it Rican sounds, cuck. It's Costa, it, it sounds exotic. Yeah, it's a yeah. Costa raping. It, it might be. Uh-huh. Wow. Yeah. Ah, see, Look Scott, he's got jokes. So yeah, we're or gonna bad, go back there. God, I'm fucking bored. <laughs> Sorry, man. I, I mean, do. I was having a great time until you chimed in with your coaster rate. I'm sorry, my bad. Uh, Replace my hot water heater. Did hey, that last yeah. week? Nice. Yeah. Now we're so, picking it up. Yeah. We did We did mention on the show that's why you missed, was because you yeah. had to be there to, to supervise the guy installing your water <laughs> heater. As if you're <laughs> going to do much, anything. Yeah. Pretty much, yeah. <laughs> so JP was like, no, Derek is just sitting in the basement guarding his shit. No, I helped carry it down. Oh, good for you. Yeah. You're such and, a- and up. And up. Holy oh, Did fuck. they fill it first? <laughs> yeah. Half oh, full shit. on the way up. Oh, God. Why? Oh, yeah, that. The, yeah. But I'm talking about the new one. Just fill it up. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> that way you ain't got to worry about, you know, <laughs> right, plumbing yeah. it in. Yeah. yeah. Go ahead and fill her up. Uh, <laughs> uh, so, no, one of my good friends that I've been friends with since I was like 12 uh, worked for the gas company. And I was talking to him on the phone because we sold my we sold Katie's car. And when I was talking yeah. about selling that just randomly. And uh, I'd, I'd mentioned that the uh, hot water heater went out or was fucking up. And he's like, dude, why didn't you call me? And I'm like, I don't, I don't know. I didn't think about it. And he goes, I can help with that. Wow. And when you want to install a new one, let me know. I tried to pay him. He's like, oh, no, don't worry about that. So oh, cool. I'm like, shit. You have the coolest so, friends. I know. And then I got you guys. Yeah, thanks, man. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so Asshole. So, no, like, yeah, it was a huge fucking help, man. And I, I somebody I, lo- I love to hang out with him. I don't get to enough. He's got four four kids so he's busy jesus yeah wow so it was it was really good to get to hang out with him and just shoot the shit so it wasn't deal. the same guy i know is it which no. one cameron no no it's my buddy casey so cameron's kind of my plumber on the side that i met through some mutual I like friends him. and uh he also has four kids and very fucking busy. oh really he's got yeah. four now yep because i think he had just Bodie or Bodie, i think is his, is his first one that's the only one he had when I first met him. Oh, well, I don't know if you knew this about Cameron, but Cameron likes to fuck. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, yeah, not, uh, nothing too interesting. Just been busy as shit with baseball. We yeah. went to the zoo in Omaha. We tried that out. How was the Omaha Zoo? It was cool. Yeah. Did they have yeah. their animals? Uh, did they have what? Animals? Yeah, animals there. They had some. Yeah, yeah. that's mm-hmm. good. Yeah. <laughs> um, Any emus? I don't. How about a copies? Did you get to see some of copies fuck? I didn't see him fuck. Oh, damn it. I thought I was going to get to see the tortoises fuck. <laughs> like, it got close. And I was like, oh! <laughs> and then it didn't happen. I was like, shit. I did see Okapis because I told my stepmom the story about <laughs> the Okapis fucking. Yeah. Uh, they have a thing where you can actually go over the uh, entire, like, a good portion of the zoo in, like, one of those cable cars. The oh, sky cool. trams or yeah. whatever. Yeah, oh, yeah. So we did that. Yeah. That was... Kind of neat. And then I felt like a dick because there was some guy trying to buy tickets in front of us. And oh. I'm just like, hurry the fuck up, man, because it's all on a screen. And he's like, is this the right thing? And we're like, yeah, it's for the SkyTram. And he's like, okay. And so he buys like six tickets, and it's like $35 or something. Jesus. And then uh, he goes and he gets in line, and we buy ours, and we go and get in line. And then he actually accidentally bought tickets for the train and not the SkyTram. <laughs> oh, my God. And we're like, no, no, these are fine. Like, just... <laughs> Oh, that so, sucks. Sorry, and they dude. wouldn't ex- they wouldn't let him on the Sky Tram. They're oh, like, what no, a bunch no. of dicks! No, you can go get on the train over here. It's, it's an exclusive club, guys. You got to follow the rules. <laughs> yeah. So that was that was kind of fun. And I first rule of Sky Tram: you don't talk about Sky. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> and they play sticks mm-hmm. over the sound. Yep. Was this a part of that Regal Unlimited thing? <laughs> <laughs> yep, yep. yep. <laughs> Absolutely, we took the Buick. <laughs> nice. Yeah. Good stuff. Mm-hmm. Uh, so baseball's over for you. Uh-huh. Uh, so now you'll you'll have a little bit more time, hopefully, to be on the show a couple more times. I think we still want to give you your time. Obviously, you don't like coming over here because of me. Yeah, I understand great. completely. <laughs> yeah. Totally get it. Yeah, no, uh, we got. Uh, I know we got a case. We're gonna go watch K State play uh, football coming up here in a couple weeks. Ooh, let me know when you do that because we are supposed to go too. We're going against. Don't KU. let him know. Don't let him know. Oh, okay. We're going the twenty sixth. I might actually go because I I. My brother has has Way tickets to, to the K State games. Yourself. Uh, I'm just saying we can we can fucking carpool. I don't care. It, our wives like each other. We don't like each other, but our wives <laughs> like each other. You Asshole. got a pool in the car? <laughs> well, it's, it's, part, regal. Oh, it's part of the regal, regal unlimited. It's a regal. Damn it's it! Part of that unlimited. Did exhibit yeah. get a hold of it? <laughs> <laughs> Sure yeah. did. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, sure did. Church. Uh, He's God. like, I know I can't swim. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm going to put it in a trunk. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> it's fucking great. 
Uh, we thought it was PlayStation. <laughs> <laughs> we got you a pool and a toaster. <laughs> <laughs> I know you get sad sometimes. <laughs> and you like bagels. Now you don't have to go out in front of the YMCA. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. I miss this. This is why the show was actually successful at one point in time. <laughs> hey, but thank you to our three listeners. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. God damn. We got tens of people that listen to this. Yes. Yeah. Uh, so is that your week? Oh, this week? Yeah, I haven't done shit. You I haven't did. done shit? Okay. No. All right, fine. No, I, I, that was just kind of catching up over what I did the last Sure, months, sure. Right? Abso- absolutely. And that was the third time I got syphilis. <laughs> so. uh, it's easily curable. It is. Mm-hmm. Yeah, just pill, right? Pill? Sure. Wiener smack? Pill and injection. Yeah. I usually mainline it. Oh, nice. Yeah. Good job. Good deal. I'll just pour a bunch of penicillin into a vat and <laughs> dive dick first right into it. That's great. I'll actually fuck a vat of penicillin. <laughs> okay. We can fill the pool up with it. Damn right we can. <laughs> In the back of a oh, reel. Yeah, yeah. Cheap. <laughs> uh, this could go on forever. All right. Uh, so, yeah, I guess I'll go ahead and do my week. Uh, my week consisted of one thing and one thing only, and it's called TriggerCon. Uh, and that's where a bunch of snowflakes go and get all pissed off and <laughs> yeah. say politically incorrect. Yeah, no, no, it is a giant gun convention here in Wichita. There was a whole bunch of like, can everyone please sit down? All the movement <laughs> is messing with my vision. Right. Okay. Can we not use gendered language? <laughs> Uh, there was actually a lot of like YouTube creators, like Black Rambo was there. He was the only one I recognized. Um, but there were. There were a whole bunch of people at this convention that were trying to do social media shit, and I never realized how dumb people look when they do that. Mm -hmm. Oh, my God. Like, you know one dude probably has, like, I don't know, 30,000 followers maximum. And he's he's sitting there doing, like, a selfie video with one of the people at the stands. And he is, I mean, decked out. He's got, like, a fucking American flag scarf. He's wearing, like, a an air airman jacket with this a, a gun guy he's got a scarf uh, this is why i'm saying this. this is because it's like that dude looks fucking ridiculous it, i mean it was it was a great no, time. scarves are back in oh are they yeah that's uh, how shocking that's what 2a supporters are using to signify oh, themselves now got it scarves where's yours he doesn't support <laughs> <laughs> it, it's up with my neighbors oh yeah okay my ass. <laughs> nice all right Uh, But no, it was a great time. Other than that, like seeing people do that still weirds me out. Like if we ever got so big to where we would have to do a video like that. We don't have to worry about that. It'd be fucking weird. I I couldn't do it. I've always said that with really with anything with social media, like somebody will post a a picture of them in a big group out like at a bar having a party and just, you know, everybody's posing, having a great fucking time. And my whole thing is if you were really having that good of a fucking time, you wouldn't stop to take this picture. No. Yeah. You're faking it. Right. I agree with you. But Do you know in California they have a like a photo set that you can rent that is a private plane? It makes it look like you're on a fucking private jet, so it looks like you're fucking balling out. Most of the, the videos and shit that you see from influencers on private jets, they ain't on private jets. Oh. <laughs> Oh, that pisses me off even more. The fact that that capitalism has created a business for that is the only thing I like. Other than that, that's dumb. Mm -hmm. But anyways, uh, but no, as far as the convention goes, it was really cool. I I got to meet and talk to a whole bunch of people, answer a lot of questions. I'm an entry level gun guy. I've just recently got into this, but I got to see a lot of the new technology that's coming out, which is fucking crazy. Some of the shit that they have that's coming out now. I did buy a trigger from Hyperfire. Those guys were fucking crazy. Great. They're awesome. They're from like Minnesota, right? Well, whenever they have to drive to the East Coast. All hyper Coast, things are from Minnesota. Absolutely. They're, they're very yeah, hyper up especially there. Especially Kirby Puckett. Yeah. <laughs> right. But they. He it, was. Mm-hmm. Whenever, he blew an eye out. Oh, yeah, he did. Really? He did. Wow. Yeah. Uh, but anyways, whenever Evan they. Stuart Stewart Scott. Whenever they. God damn it. That's bad. But whenever they go to the East Coast, they actually have to drive through Kansas City to go to the East Coast. They cannot drive through Illinois. Because if they got pulled over, they would get 
possibly arrested because of the stuff that's on their goddamn trucks. I think they're making that up. That's what he told me. I'm going to take it from what, is, what he said. But they are federal <laughs> firearms licensees. I don't know. That's what they told me. Well, Either that or they just try to avoid that state at all costs. Probably. They, that's probably what it was. But anyways, uh, very nice guys. Uh, and it talked to a whole bunch of gun manufacturers, which is awesome. But that wasn't the best part. Best part was range day, which they take you out to a giant outdoor range where you get to shoot these sons of bitches. And I think there were two. Who are you shooting? Uh, uh, steel targets, man. Oh, you said to shoot these sons of bitches. Uh, shoot, I thought I was you shooting were fucking these shooting people. Awesome firearms that I these would fucking never. fucking influencers. Yeah. Trying, yeah. To, <laughs> trying to make it yeah. look like these they videos just, are candid. They've they, got it. They got them in a private jet. Yeah. And <laughs> they round them up. <laughs> they round them up in a cage that looks like a private jet. They let them in out one by one. Yeah. When you say pull, they hit them with a cattle prod. They take off running. <laughs> yeah. You got to try and hit them on the move. That'd be great. <laughs> That'd be great. Uh, but no, it, if it, we get big enough, we could do that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> we could. I don't think we have to get that big. I don't either. I think we could probably do that. We right have now. everything we need minus a cattle prod. <laughs> and <laughs> those much. aren't hard to come by. No. Uh, but no, I, I got to shoot. Uh, have you ever shot a reset trigger by any chance, Jeremy? Yes, I have. Those are currently legal, but those they put they they have a company called Empire Triggers that put it into oh, an you're AK forty seven. Huh? A binary? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and they're currently legal, but that they put it into an AK-47, and that turned a semi-automatic AK-47 into a fucking automatic AK-47. Not really. Technically, it's legal because the trigger resets. It is. To, it is a separate movement for each fire. Right. So that makes it legal. Um, I had a trigger that did this once that was not supposed to. <laughs> it was an accident. But it was adjustable and you could adjust it so that the disconnect and the sear were far enough apart that it wouldn't <laughs> catch. When you held the trigger back, it wouldn't catch on the reset. Yeah. And it would go again when you let go of it. And it took me a few shots to figure out. I thought maybe somebody else was just shooting the same time I was. Uh huh. Because it was like, <laughs> boom, boom. <laughs> yeah. Boom, boom. It, it kind of scared the shit out of me. I'll be honest with you, because well, if you know it's coming, I didn't know it was coming. Oh, no, I, I knew it was coming. I mean, you're, you're in a line. You can hear these things even with ear pro on. But uh, it just kind of it, it got me a little bit. I didn't think it was going to have as much kick as it did. But you're actually more or less trying to keep that fucking the the barrel down. So you're not like shooting it off oh, on and, an AK on for an AK. Sure. Yeah. Uh, well, duh. But the the one that uh, put me in my seat was they actually had an automatic 12 gauge shotgun out there, and it was an actual automatic 12 gauge. A full auto? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. You know what? Why? Because that's fucking why. Mm -hmm. And I and mean, it, you can turn any semi auto into yeah. a full auto. Just weld the firing pin forward. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It ain't gonna stop. <laughs> no, until it runs out. But you can do it. Yeah, uh, it was really cool. It was a lot of fun. Now the automatic shotgun was from Genesis Arms, I believe, and we talked mm. to him for quite a while. Uh, but it was a very good experience. I got to fire the guns that I'm interested in. I got to fire That's the a Stevens product. Oh, uh, was that? No, <laughs> that's Genesis. That's a different thing. Uh, but a CZ Shadow Two, I get to shoot that, which is the the handgun I'm mainly interested in. I also got to shoot the Alien, which is uh, fucking awesome. It's really good, but I'm not spending five grand on a handgun. Was it an illegal Alien? Yeah, yeah, nice. Yeah, this good. was a hell of a convention. <laughs> it was a really good convention. It was awesome, but I had a great time. Uh, yeah, and the 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 companies that I mentioned, uh, if you if you like guns, go and check them out because they were all fucking great. So. Uh, and, the, and then I bought a uh, trigger from Hyperfire and put it in my AR. So I'm ready to go to the range again. Other than that, I haven't done shit. This whole weekend was that. I didn't get to watch very much football. It was That's it. So, Jeremy, we have missed you. You have been here, or you haven't been here in a while. So what? A couple sir? of weeks. Uh, yeah, I know, right? But you haven't been here with us three, or us two. That's right. Yeah, now, so. I saw Derek the other day. Oh, you did? Why mm -hmm. didn't you call me? Well, there was just very limited space. Uh oh, <laughs> my fifteen wife, inch doors. It, it was <laughs> my wife's birthday, you know, and, and she's oh. getting older, and so you know, we got to keep things calm. You Ooh, know, we sure. she can't be around big crowds. Well, okay, yeah. I am a notary too. So uh, I, mean, I, I can play that going mm -hmm. for me. Yeah. Gotcha. Mm -hmm. That's cool. what she said. Oh. I need a notary there. Okay. All if, right. If we're gonna go out with anybody, I need a notary. I, yep. no, I understand. Just, we went and got uh, Italian food. Oh, cool. And uh, it was good. My wife was a little overpoweringly lemony. Oh, where'd you that go? 
Bocato? Uh, I don't think I've been there before. No, because we won't invite you. <laughs> <laughs> won't even tell you where it's at. Yeah, don't. <laughs> Especially, I don't like lemons. Well, just don't order that. There's a lot of good shit on there that don't have lemons. Oh, okay. The chick farm like a pizza is so fucking good. So, anyways, um, my wife, I'm not going to go into all of the details on this, but my wife, she's still with the same company, but she switched departments oh. with her company. She got sick. Like, the people in her same department were all retiring, like, one year right after the other. And rather than bringing in new people, they just kept taking all the retired people's work and heaping it on my fucking wife. Ooh, no. And then jumping her ass as to why isn't this shit getting done? And she's working, you know, 14, 16 hour days oh, a Jesus. lot of times and including weekends. So she finally got fed up with that shit. And so she has transferred to a different department, which now leaves her with extra time. And so this last weekend she started decorating for Halloween. Oh, uh, and as you know, we have a Halloween tree. Yeah. So the first fucking Christmas tree has gone. up. <laughs> <laughs> she can call it a Halloween tree. All she wants. I know what the fuck it is. <laughs> it's got the right shape. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and it's black. <laughs> You're never going back. You're never going back. Never. <laughs> and it's not going to crack. That's right. It's going to live forever. I've tried. <laughs> tried like hell to get that thing to crack. <laughs> Did you, uh, have you talked about whatever, what I text you about the ornament? Uh, no. And, and I want, <laughs> I want to keep that a secret. Oh, you're I, not going to talk about it on the show at all until it happens? Right. Okay. Um, I'm going to try and maybe video it. Get her reaction. <laughs> Because what I'm going to put it, yeah, oh, fuck it. I'll, she ain't going to listen to the show. I'll put it on the show. She, um, okay, I, Derek gave me this idea. It was on TikTok. Hang on this. one second. Before, before we mention this, if you're going to make a surprise, I'm not going to make a TikTok or any video of this particular part of the show, so shut it. And don't fucking spoil the surprise uh, just in case you watch his social media. Now go ahead. Okay. Anyway. <laughs> um. I don't even know where to go with that now. <laughs> Sorry. Where's that? Oh, Derek sent me this ad on TikTok for this ornament that you can put on a tree and you like pull a little tab on it and it's battery powered and at just random intervals, it'll do the screaming goat noise. <laughs> <laughs> and I think no way. it'll do it and it'll do it loud enough to hear, but not so loud. It will be a lot of... Did you hear that? <laughs> what What is that? Oh and it, it's going to take a while. And I'm going to put it on there when she gets the big tree up in the living room. It's going to have to get all decorated. And I'm going to put it on the backside before I leave for work some morning. <laughs> and I guarantee you, I'm going to get home. And listen, listen do, you, do you hear this? Oh, that's and great. I'm, I'm going to have to do my best to keep a straight face <laughs> and go, no, 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 I don't. <laughs> but you're one of the best dead pans I've ever seen. So you should do okay. Yeah. Yeah. <coughs> I'm, I'm one of the best anything you've ever seen. It's Scotty, true. It's, I'm, I'm amazing. It is true. Um, let's see. Uh, you know, for her birthday, I really wanted to get her a sweet potato. <laughs> <laughs> She would ate it. She was a little disappointed by what they had at the store the other day. This fucking long con of hers is, is bullshit. She's fucking with me. She is. I know she is. She always so, eats sweet. She's always ate sweet potatoes, Jeremy. Ever since I've known. No, she hasn't. No, she fucking hasn't. It's like, what are you doing? Making a mincemeat pie. I always make mincemeat pie. Yeah. Shit. Spotted oh. dick pudding. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear God, haggis. Uh, <laughs> yeah, haggis. Uh, again. <laughs> um. So anyhow, uh, where the fuck was I going to this? Oh, so anyway, first tree's up. So let the nightmare begin. Um. I started back doing DDP yoga. Oh, good. That is one of those things that if you stop doing that for a little while and try to get back into it, you lose it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm surprised by how I'm not 
just able to pick back up where I left off. DDP like double double penetration. Yes. Okay. <laughs> that has got to be rough. Mm-hmm. <laughs> That's four dicks. Oh my god. Wow. It is. That's half the people in your ass. <laughs> right. That's, that is four people just ramming it to be good. <laughs> <laughs> and I had lost a lot of flexibility. I'm not going to lie. Oh, man. The first thing they teach you is to put your legs behind your head. Mm-hmm. <laughs> right. What I do really like, though, about it, he's got a new workout on there, uh, uh, Clown 2.0. <laughs> <laughs> That'll really help me uh, step up my clown game. That's good. That's um, good. Let's see. I uh, I built a new rifle. Yes, you did. I had my own trigger con, Scotty. Yeah. Way better than what you were doing. That's fine. Um, Noah, a company that I had been watching this. Uh, I've been wanting to build a long-range AR-15 for a while now, and a company put their $300 barrel on for sale for just over 100 bucks, and I basically had most of the spare parts around yeah. to make the rest of it. Uh, I had to buy a few things. Yeah. But, and then I got a really nice scope for it. And uh, turns out I still suck at shooting. So, <laughs> yeah, it's uh, not the gun. The gun works great. Um, you should try it when you're yoga in. Yeah. When you're doing some yoga. Yoga fire. Yeah. Yoga. Yeah. We can oh, do, yeah. We could do like, that at the range. Yes. Yeah. Let's do it. Yes. Okay. Yes. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's hard enough to hold on target as it is with a long range scope. Try doing it out of down dog. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Try to uh, plank and yeah. shoot. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you'll be fine. Yeah, yeah I'll be the only guy <laughs> laying down on a pad up on my elbows. <laughs> <laughs> Just shaking. <laughs> but I never miss. Uh, let's see. Speaking of guns, I told him I would I would give him a plug. Uh, you know, I learned basics of, of firearms and firearm safety from my dad growing up. But for the most part, everything that I know in depth about guns, I learned from my friend and former co-worker, uh, Paul Solomon. Mm-hmm. Dude knows fucking everything about guns. And uh, Paul has since retired from where I work. And he and his wife have started up a food truck. Oh, now that they go around to different events in Wichita. It's called uh, Sally Sue's New York Deli. Uh, Paul's wife, Kim. Is it Italian is, food? Is that what it is? That's, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of Italian, a lot of, uh, lot of Greek yeah. food, oh, yep, mostly yeah. yogurt. Yeah, yeah. okay. Um, it's just like hummus Dick. and curry. <laughs> yep. And haggis. It's sweet. It's, some haggis. It's, it's just a sweet potato truck. It's, it's, like it's, it's <laughs> Mediterranean haggis. Okay. <laughs> it's 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 octopus instead, intestines. It, well, camel. Um, <laughs> I can't even tell when you guys are being serious anymore. We're not, <laughs> except for the part about how they did start this food truck. Right. They sell sandwiches cool. for the most part. Now, Paul's wife Kim is from Queens. She grew up in New York City, so she grew up around all these famous delicatessens and shit so she knows what sandwiches are supposed to taste like i've had this shit it's really good but they go around all these different events around town and shit they're pretty busy but if people could get on facebook and follow sally sue's new york deli they would certainly appreciate it they post their schedule of where they're going to be if you see them around go buy a fucking sandwich yep okay and ask paul about guns or knows it all or get some camel haggis yeah yes best thing on the menu Stuffed camel stomach. <laughs> Why wouldn't they use the hump? I don't know. I don't, hump. That's a delicacy. That's the Mediterranean part. I think they use the hump on the no, Mediterranean. That's, Probably. that's Chinese. Camel hump. I learned that from rush hour. Yeah. Okay. I'm just telling you. All right. Yeah, but those are Chinese camel. Those are cameras. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, God. You're a treasure, Jeremy. I am. I know. I am. <laughs> anything else? Do you have any re- anything to review? I think if I went to Perkins <laughs> and went to the Wishing Well, I'd just pull out Jeremy Joseph. I know. And that's it. He is. Uh, do you got any- I get wet a lot from that. <laughs> a lot of people wish for me. <laughs> he just shows up out of the fucking fountain. Uh, mm-hmm. Yeah. It's like, What? <laughs> That's my response. I, I, again? I, no, I'm not going back on the podcast. I, I don't. 
I don't expect you guys to watch or, or look at any of the, uh, the the stuff on Facebook whenever I post any pictures or anything like that. But when I was on vacation out at Disney, our listeners were on fucking point. Every single time I shared something, I shared a picture of the elevators at Disney, which was naturally an Otis. Otis. Of course they were. Of course they were. And I said, I, I, I said, Disney knows what's up and had the picture of the logo and everything like that. And I swear there were people with some of the best comments I've ever seen. But my favorite one, my favorite one was Jeremy's going to flip shit if there's a Nordic track in the fucking way. <laughs> <laughs> like, was there? No. You never made it to the fitness room. No, I didn't. <laughs> I did. I didn't. But I mean, like, just absolutely on point by some of that stuff. So thank, thank there, you. All there that. is a listener who regularly sees Otis repair trucks and sends them to me. Yeah. Them <laughs> I don't. I, that's a waste of a truck. Uh, Those things yeah. Don't break. No, they don't. No. I. Should, I think it's more just bringing them up to modern technology. Yeah. I. I, I set the tone. I'm not making this shit up. We actually have a listener on a uh, four-hour show who is an Otis elevator repair man. No bullshit. Can he host? I, I, he asked to be on the show. I was like, yeah, it'd kind of be a little difficult, but I don't know. Maybe, no, it wouldn't. Maybe. <laughs> no, I know exactly who to replace. <laughs> <laughs> it's possible, yeah. If he can right. work on an Otis, he can run a soundboard. I'm sure he could. Uh, it's better than me, for sure. Uh, but If you hold the, the trumpet button and the applause button at the same time, the show just ends. <laughs> right there. It skips right to the end. Well, there was some questions from a couple of people, excuse me, uh, that related to all of us. Uh, Liz Perkins, uh, she wants to know, how does it feel to be on a show after five years? Whoa. Sorry, my wife just texted me. She's in, I don't know where, but uh, she just said, there's a midget getting snacks. <laughs> <laughs> she gets me. Brad Williams? <laughs> no, I don't think so. Oh, damn. I don't think all midgets are Brad Williams. How about either. Peter Dinklage? Like they could all be Peter could, Dinklage. Could yeah, be Dinklage. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, he be gets snacks. Yeah, from yeah 100%. Yeah. Yeah. He's calling the snack master on the host. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, shit. I'm sorry, Liz. Sorry, what, go what ahead. What kind now. of snacks do you think Peter Dinklage eats? Bob. Is he a sweet guy, savory guy? Caramel corn, man. M&M's yeah. minis. Yeah. Something like that. Okay. Yeah. Anything from Willy Wonka. That's it. I think he eats sweet potatoes. <laughs> sweet potatoes, yeah. <laughs> uh, sweet potato fries, anyway. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and drives a Buick Regal. Uh, oh, there's no doubt he drives a Regal. 100%. He's, he started that club. He's the proprietary... <laughs> owner of it uh anyways uh anyways liz perkins she wants to know how does it feel to be on this show after five years god damn depressing <laughs> right 300 episodes how about you derek is it, are you depressing too i've i've been depressed for a long time scotty i know yeah the initial logo that we made about of, this show <laughs> yeah <laughs> yeah it's the entire cause i i uh the pic, the picture that it has, the original picture of all three of us, is probably one of Derek's best pictures ever. Like as far as I'm uh, naked in it. No, <laughs> no. Wait, no. The centaur. That no. The that, centaur okay. is the best uh, picture. That's ever. a painting. That's, that's a painting. That's not an actual that, picture. Actually, that's a photograph. masterpiece. It is a masterpiece. That. You're correct. <laughs> yes. But but uh, but no. The picture that uh, is the original one. That's like the only time I've ever seen Derek like actual smile. That was the first day we ever did this show. I had more hair then. You did have more hair then. Yeah, you did. And then it went away once I started doing this fucking show. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So how do you think it feels after five fucking years, Liz? I, I think it's great. We've had a lot of fun. We've had a and lot of fun over the last I've five I've been years. off of this show pretty much two, of them. two, two years. So. Yeah. yeah. No, but I think it's cool. We got a crew. Everybody uh, who wants to come on the show gets to come on the show. That's the way it works. And I think it's fun. I, I have a lot of fun talking with my... Not people. everybody that wants to come on. Just mm. the funny ones. Just the funny ones. Yeah, yeah that's true. Uh, and you're afraid of getting and JP. Wall yeah. Yeah. The funny ones in JP. I think JP's funny. And you're afraid of getting Wally Pip by the Otis guy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah, that's right. Wally, Wally Pip. There you go. Uh, another question was uh, from Greg Jorgensen. He wanted to know, why did you start trashing Legos? It started with the episode you did the one chip challenge. Why did you start doing the tragedies for Legos, Jeremy? I think it started a little before that, didn't it? I don't know. I'm, I'm going to say our listeners probably are pretty good about this, but I, I don't know. I remember you guys um, talking about it on, in, like in the break and shit, but, and then it just they, happened. Because they won't pay us to stop. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> the, it was a, a deal where we took the most wholesome company possible <laughs> and decided to incorporate it into our filth and wouldn't stop until they paid us money. <laughs> and so far, they haven't. That's true. 
Uh, we are fifty thousand dollars short of a fifty thousand dollar check. <laughs> That's right. That they owe us. They do. Uh, they just owe Jeremy actually, but, but no, I guess it was you and no, Derek's just idea. me. Oh, okay, just me. All right. I think Derek had something to do with that idea, but uh, that's beside the point. <laughs> Uh, but anybody else got anything for their week, week recap? Do you have any reviews that you wanted to go over, Jeremy? Oh, God. Um, don't don't ruin Rings of Power for me. I haven't started it yet because now I can finally watch from beginning to end without okay. having to wait. Was it good? You can tell me if it's, it's good. It's not all the way over. It's fine. Okay. I'll take, um, I'll take they're fine. Not, they're not on the last episode yet. I think there's one more to go. Um, you may be right. I may be crazy. Yeah. Yeah. Um, <laughs> <laughs> they incorporated a character a little bit that I was hoping that they would. Okay. That, that is in the book, The Lord of the Rings, that they just completely omitted. So oh. I... Um, it's not that guy from Huck Finn, is it? It is. Oh. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. That's bad. Tom? Nope. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> His name's Jim. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. It's, not, it's not that guy, is it? Uh, the guy that went that, on the raft that, with him? Yeah, that's a bad character. <laughs> and they... He insists on being called that. <laughs> yeah. yep. He won't respond to just Jim. Uh, they yeah. insist we read it that way in school. <laughs> mm-hmm. yeah. Wow. Okay. We're going to read aloud, and they would always call on the white guy for that. <laughs> <laughs> Do you think they did that shit on purpose, though? Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. 100%. What, uh, anyway. what did we watch? We watched uh, Insidious, The Red Door uh-huh. the other day. I think we've watched all the movies in the Insidious franchise, but... We have yet to see how they connect. Oh. Uh, but apparently this one connects back to the first one. Ooh. But it's been 10 years at least since I've seen the first one and don't remember a fucking okay. thing about it. Yeah. Uh, Fair enough. And they use the same main character that they also use in those, like the Annabelle books. Uh, oh, oh yeah, the yeah, movies. yeah. What, I got you. What's that called? The Conjuring. Uh-huh. Uh, one of the same main guys in that. So I get the two movies confused. So this one, you were supposed to know a lot of shit going into it. Mm. And I didn't. Uh, so not, so would not so recommend it make a whole lot of sense. I would recommend <laughs> seeing all the others first. Okay. Uh, I do. I am actually very, very excited. I found, uh, I, I know this is probably old news for a lot of people, but I, uh, I heard that they are actually going to bring back a new season of Ted Lasso. Yes, I had heard that too, and I am scared. Scared. I am very too. scared. I am very scared they as well. They wrapped that show up so nicely with a nice, neat fucking bow. Oh, yeah. They they were getting very... Um, <laughs> she sent me a picture a of the midget. Wearing a fedora. She sent me a picture of the midget. Oh, my God. Oh, sorry. I didn't mean to interrupt, but... I hope he doesn't need one of those magazines because he's not going to be able to reach it. <laughs> oh, my God. Uh, you need to send that to me, please. Oh, that's great. That's going on the episode. I just said, you totally get me. <laughs> oh, that's great. Uh, sorry, so, you go go on. See, that. like, okay, in the first two seasons of Ted Lasso, it was like this sweet show yeah. where they would write the episodes and then find the life lesson yeah. in the episode. Yep. By the third season, they were writing the life lesson and then writing the episode around the life lesson. And so it was getting really fucking corny and forced. And oh, I got none of that. Well, that's because you're not. I like, know, in, dense. You, yeah, yeah I'm, you're I'm stupid. I get it. Yeah, right. It should have been a fucking cartoon for you. Right. Um, <laughs> I need pictures. So, okay, that, it, that reminded me of something, Derek's deal. Uh, <laughs> I, I got a, yes. a text message, or one of those random ones. Oh, great. Said, uh, have you been? You haven't forgotten who this is, LOL. Of course not. I haven't forgotten. <laughs> How have you been? She says, well, I'm Ava. We met and exchanged numbers. I don't have my fucking reading glasses. <laughs> Hang on. She's not going to recognize you. With yeah, the she's, yeah, on. she's not going to recognize you at oh, all. Oh, she can't see me, guys. <laughs> oh, 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 I don't you're, know. You're like John Cena over here. Oh, yeah, wow. I've got the phone on mute. <laughs> so, uh, uh, we met and exchanged numbers before before at Fashion Week because you know I go to Fashion Week a lot. <laughs> yeah, Jeremy, that's um, where he hangs out all the time. Mm-hmm. Instead of Trigger Con, I go to Fashion Week. <laughs> right. Uh, I hope you haven't forgotten me. Here's my picture, and she sends me. Oh, very beautiful. Uh, well, you have a type, uh, Jerry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Maybe you know actually type. did meet her. <laughs> I said, I already said that I had not forgotten, forgotten you. Are you retarded or something? 
I just hope you remember me. And I sent a picture. <laughs> <laughs> Can't be shown on YouTube, but it's one dude getting railed doggy style by another dude. <laughs> and I got no response, so I said, uh, you still there? I'm rock hard. <laughs> <laughs> that's how you make these people go away yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh jesus christ so uh, there's that anyway uh but no back to the back to the i guess the uh ted lasso i agree with you i i, I agree with at least where you were going they they tied that whole fucking show up so beautifully and I don't want them to fuck it up because I love that show. That is, it is. I started rewatching it. It's it's legitimately probably. It's definitely in my top five. It may be in my top three. It's it's an excellent show to me, but that's beside the point. I like it, and I hate soccer. Yeah, I hate soccer too. Mm -hmm. It's it the one that time they made soccer interesting. I agree. Yes. I agree. Uh, all right. Well, anyways, I uh, hope all of you guys out there had a great week. I'm very excited to kick off this week's show. Hot topics move on to that let's get this bad boy going and the cheapest way to support this uh podcast is to uh drop a drop a like uh leave a comment so if you haven't done that yet please do that uh that really actually does help us out maybe maybe i'd we, rather than drop a drop a comment and leave a like i think that would be better okay mm. let's do that yeah i think that's better okay uh but that does help uh hopefully uh we will maybe Get, start getting paid for doing YouTube videos again or something else. I don't know. But anyways, let's get on to hot topics. We've got some stuff to go over with. Uh, Brandon Bullens uh, is a listener of the show. He actually wanted us to, he asked a question for this. I thought it fit right in, especially when it comes to hot topics. Uh, but he wants to know, overrated or underrated hurricanes? Well, they damn near lost to Virginia Tech. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So maybe not as good as everybody thought. That's true. Uh, but no, unfortunately, the whole fucking Appalachia area, Appalachia area is uh, underwater. Um, kind of a sad shit. It looks like the back of my regal over there. <laughs> it does. <laughs> it really does. I'm going to guess that they, people in Appalachia, not responsive to um, evacuation requests. I don't know. I, I'm guessing a lot more of the, uh, uh, get up my fucking lawn, I'll shoot your ass. Yeah. A lot of that. Can Ain't be. no fucking hurricane getting me. Yeah. There's already water in the house. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Uh, but no, I, I, uh, I've kind of been keeping track on that. It's really fucking sad what's happened to a lot of those people. Uh, and I, God, I, I don't, I don't like saying hopes and prayers to those people, but I mean, what do you do? What else can you do? Yeah. You got nothing. So, uh, you could, you, you, could you go, go modern get a age bucket and start helping <laughs> bailing them out. Bailing them yeah. out. Yeah. 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 Absolutely. Yeah, ah, it's fucking like, scary. Really, All you gotta really do like is buy $30 it. for the shit at Harbor Freight. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> <laughs> Without a coupon, though, yeah. you cannot, you cannot have it's gotta a coupon. be regular price. <laughs> oh, it's good shit. Uh, so there is that. Uh, so I'm gonna go with underrated. Uh, but yeah, moving on. Uh, Kirk Cramp uh, has a question specifically for us relating to Major League Baseball. He wanted to know with the Major League Baseball playoffs starting, who do you want to see in the World Series? I would well. I mean, of course, I'm going to root for Kansas City, but they right. are not. They're not going to get there. I don't think so either. So I'm really. I mean, once they're gone, I want Baltimore. Okay, that'd be cool. Um, they haven't won in forever. Yeah, mm -hmm. true. So I would like to see. And I've got a friend that's a big Orioles fan. So I would like to see them. I'd like to see them go. And then on the National League side, can fuck. you do it? Can you do it? What? It's not the Brewers. Oh, no. I thought you were going to talk. No, win one for Bob. No. Oh, come on. I, I'm, I'm going to say the Mets. Uh, I don't want the Mets. I, you know, they they've stunk for most of my life, so not mine. And I like the Phillies. I, I don't mind the Phillies. I like all. the Phillies. I do like the Phillies. Yeah. Okay. Out of the so National say, League, I would take Phillies. Say Orioles and Phillies. I, I I'm with who, you. Who are the wild card teams in the National League? Uh, you Detroit. Got the Mets. Detroit. Detroit's no, they're, not, they're not. They're in the, in the American League. League. Yeah. Yeah. The, Detroit's in the, the oh, National League. Oh, in the National League. Oh, sorry. The Mets uh, are one, and then. I'm not sure. Who so, else were we chasing? I was I was out of the. Did picture. Atlanta get in? I think New York. There was clinched. implications. New York clinched today, so yeah, I don't think right. Atlanta got in. But ah, the Padres, sucks. the Mets, yeah, the Padres, and uh, and I wouldn't mind if San Diego did well. Mm -hmm. That's that's kind of who I'm rooting for. I'm rooting yeah. for I'm rooting for everybody other than. The Houston Astros and the fucking Los Angeles Dodgers. I don't it, want the Yankees. Or the Yankees. Or the Yankees. Okay. Those Has are the San three Diego teams. ever won? Uh, no, I don't. Uh -uh. Um, nope. Yeah. I mean, of course, I want the Royals 
to win. However, them being there goes against everything I believe in. Why? The the expanded playoff shit. Oh, I get you. They're the last team in. They should not be there. They had 86 wins. Mm-hmm. You should not get an opportunity to win a world championship when you only won. You, you barely had a fucking winning record. Yeah. I feel like you should have And you have shit 90. the bed the last fucking month. Month. Well, yeah, but certainly the last two weeks. And I, and I am actually kind of pulling for Detroit. I know I'm a Detroit Lions fan. I'm not a Detroit Tigers fan, but their last month. Holy shit. You know what sucks? I is can't it's decide. When... Do I want Cleveland to break their streak? Uh, no. I don't. No. What, I don't want them. What sucks is Detroit started catching fire when they benched Javi. <laughs> like, Ooh, that sucks. That they had the best sucks. record in baseball since they benched him. It's but crazy. the Mets have had a phenomenal record since Grimace threw out the first pitch. That's why I kind of like Oh, the yeah. Okay. They All were right. horrid. Yeah. And then Grimace threw out the first pitch. But I like Kirk's second part of this question because it's so Derek. But he goes... Who do you think the major league or who do you think Major League Baseball wants to see in the World Series? Because you know it's scripted. Looking at you, Derek. <laughs> uh-huh. If it's scripted, if it's scripted, they want the Yankees and the Dodgers. Mm. But uh, no, I don't. I think that is like pretty unscriptable. Uh, yeah, baseball. I mean, they're doing everything tough. to take the human influence out of it. Uh, yeah, uh, especially once they end up going to the electric electronic strike zone. Yeah, I know. That's it. There's nothing else and that you can. Yeah. That needs to fucking happen. I it agree. I, I agree. This year was worse than <clears throat> any year I've ever seen where the the pitch track was so far off from what the, yeah. the umpires were calling. I agree. I've never seen it this bad, and I think they're doing it on purpose. Well, I'll tell you this. They're not any better in the minors. Yeah. I can definitely fucking tell you that. Mm-hmm. Well, I think the umpires, they, they know they're still <clears throat> going to need somebody back there to, you know, call safe Plays and out. Yeah. yeah. And so they're not in danger of losing their job. And standing right behind the fucking catcher is a rough fucking job. Yeah. And it's kind of dangerous. Getting foul balls and, you know, if the – pitcher ain't happy with you and the catcher moves out of the fucking way yeah that kind of shit here's um here's the deal though we can bitch about it all we want but uh, can you imagine trying to be back there and there's a hundred mile an hour fucking baseball coming like yeah that was about an inch high (laughs) (laughs) there's yeah there's no goddamn way it's too it's that's a good point but but it needs to be that way the whole fucking game. Yeah, and they've been yeah. all over the place. And I and I will say this, me and especially Jeremy and myself, I and I think you two, we're baseball purists. Like we we like the old stuff. We mm-hmm. like that kind of thing. This we can all kind of agree on, I think. What I hate is the 50-50 shit for Otani. Yeah. The bases are huge. Like the 50 home runs fine. That's yeah. great. But the 50 stolen bases, to me, when the bases are fucking 25% larger yeah. and you can only throw to first twice. Yeah, that's stupid. That, that takes it all yeah, away. Yeah, I agree. still can't touch Ricky Henderson. Yeah, I agree. Oh, yeah. Nobody ever – they just don't play baseball like that anymore. No. 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 I mean, half the time when Otani gets on base, it's a home run. So, mm-hmm. I mean, it's it, it's weird to see a guy that fast with that kind of power. Yeah. Uh, that That's one thing that – Always amazes me. There's Barry Bonds, ab- Shohei Otani. Those are the two. Those are two what? Those are the two guys, like two power guys who stole a shitload of bases. Right, and then Barry Bonds blew himself up like a balloon. And, yeah, true. And probably couldn't run at all. Yeah. <laughs> That'll happen when over the course of a season your shoe size goes from a 10.5 to a 13. Right. Just from working out. Right. Um, <laughs> mm-hmm. You know, uh but it it really does get lost on people. There's something about the cut and the fit of a baseball uniform that makes you think they're regular guys. Those fuckers are solid slabs of muscle. Yeah. And they are incredible athletes. Yeah. And if you, if they had the least bit of a pooch gut, they look fat. Yeah. Like Billy Butler, when he played for the Royals, everybody always thought how fucking fat he was. That fucker was in better shape than any of us. Uh-huh. Oh, yeah. I agree. He was slow by major league standards, but he could probably beat most people on the street in a foot race. Well, it's because he was doing Yachty. DDP yoga. Yeah. Probably. 100%. 100%. Well, I knew we were going to eventually have to talk about this, but uh, I think it only uh, fair that the man who had the rant of a lifetime uh, years and years and years mm-hmm. ago uh, said that uh, there was one person that a lot of people think should be in the Hall of Fame, uh, but just so happened he was banned for life. And today, as we are recording, he has passed away, Pete Rose. Now, I don't know how this actually works because the rule says permanently ineligible. Okay. But 
what Major League Baseball put on him was a ban for life. Right. So now that his life is over, does does that make him now eligible to get into the Hall of Fame? Because the, that's what people don't realize, too. The Hall of Fame and Major League Baseball are two separate, separate entities. entities. Yeah. The Hall of Fame is a privately owned baseball museum. And they make their own rules as to who gets in and who doesn't and all that shit. They put it up for a vote, of course, but... But they made the rule a long time before their original founder died. He made this rule that they will honor whatever Major League Baseball puts forth as far as restricted players, yeah, meaning guys who are on permanent suspension and all that shit. Right. So I don't know, but this is possibly the only way that he ever could. Yeah. And it would have to be a write-in, right? I don't know. You don't know. I, I, I didn't. I assumed just because he would have been left off the I, ballot. I don't they think should. so because he's never been put on the ballot. Oh, I get you. Okay. They should right. weekend at Bernie's his induction. Oh, for oh, sure. Don't, don't bury him it. yet. And he's just love comes it. out and he's just. <laughs> 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 just fine. Get like, I don't know, get Terrell Owens and. Uh, Floyd Mayweather, just the two biggest dicks in all of sports <laughs> to come out because that, that would represent Pete Rose's personality. Just You're the right. biggest fucking jerk off yeah. ever. And uh, then Antonio Brown could shove his arm up his ass. And <laughs> yeah. Like, up his yeah. Mouth, like. Yeah. Uh, but no, like a lot of people don't know, like my, my uncle, his favorite baseball player is Pete Rose. So uh, he's also in our fantasy football league. So after the draft this year, he and he and Jeremy were in a fucking legitimate argument over whether or not Pete Rose belongs in the fucking I wouldn't Hall even say it was an argument. It was a discussion. We it was a discussion. Very civil. He felt so terrible. He apologized so many times afterwards because he felt like he was being He never a dick. got out of hand. I, I agree. Not, not once. I actually enjoyed that conversation. Yeah. And believe me, I understand yeah, I all of the points that you make. But one of the things he liked to do was like point to Ty Cobb and point out what a dick Ty Cobb was. But that was way before that time. Yeah. Ty Cobb was judged by his contemporaries based on what a player should be at that time. And at that time, players were more gladiatorial, Yeah, I guess. I, they were supposed to fight and be fucking jerks. And right. You know, I think his legend of what a jackass he was has kind of grown over time. Because mm -hmm. I don't think his teammates hated him like what everybody says they did. Sure. I well, don't know. Well, we're going to run along this week, mm -hmm. uh, but we're going to go ahead and move on. Uh, Derek uh, Mason Workman wants to know if you've bought into the Caleb Williams hype. <laughs> Absolutely. You have? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, I was telling somebody today that if Caleb Williams and Jaden Daniels flipped, yeah. And Caleb Williams was on the the Red Redskins. Skins. Yeah. Yeah, the commanders. Yeah, whatever. And uh and J and Daniels was a bear, it would be the same really type of thing. You I think, think that. I absolutely think that. Huh. I don't know. I absolutely think that. But I've seen I've seen Daniel or not Daniels, but uh Caleb Williams improve each week. Mm -hmm. Um last uh, or yesterday watching the pocket when it would start to collapse around him instead of him taking off and running all over the field, he stepped up and made a couple of really good throws. So yeah, I I feel like we've got something here. Okay, so all right. I, I I'm still into the hype. If the jerseys weren't all shitty, I would buy one. Okay, but I don't like this shit. Okay, I don't like the rubber, and then the the ones that are sewn on have the sleeves that bunch up like up at your shoulders, and I'm not wearing those. Either. Yeah, those are these ones. So, what do you prefer, yeah. suede? Yeah, suede. Yeah, he's got velvet. Got I like the velvet, velvet jersey. I like the velvet numbers. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, that is what, I, and what sucks too is I would buy a Bobby Witt jersey, but baseball fuck those jerseys. God, up. they're mm -hmm. terrible. So I'm like, I'm not Ugh. buying that until they fix it. No. So, uh, and then the last thing, uh, all of us can answer this: Jaden Daniels. Do you think it's uh, the real deal or not so much? Absolutely. Uh, he's, he's a bad motherfucker. Let me tell you something. I don't care who you are. If you only punt, you're off. You're you only give up the ball one time in like three weeks. That's ridiculous. The safe pick there at one was Williams, but I did think that Daniels might be the one that was going to have the better, the yeah. better career. Yeah, but I think Williams will be just fine. Okay, all right. I I his do only not. downfall is, and we're seeing this. What's the dick from Indianapolis? Richardson. Uh, Richardson. Richardson. Guys who choose to run as much as he does. Get her. Daniels. He's already yeah. had an ACL surgery, too, I believe. Wow. Well, let's uh, hope that, hope that doesn't happen. It's kind of nice seeing 
why you know the Commanders have a decent team. They haven't had a they've had the same quarterback problems we've had for yeah years. forever yeah. since so, Mark Brunell. Yeah, which was what two years of that, three yeah. years of that. And uh, and at the time of recording, we're actually recording Monday Night Football. Well, it's not all, actually. Well, hey, Jimmy, give me the remote. I guess Sorry. they did have a year of. I work for you, fucker. Could you please give me the remote? <laughs> they, <laughs> they had one decent year of RG three, and then that was it. Yeah, and then he then he Kirk got Cousins hurt like really it. early. That's what I hope doesn't happen to Jaden Daniels. Uh, that would suck. Cousins wasn't horrible. I'd be all right if it happened to Mahomes, but don't happen to Jaden Daniels. Oh, that's mean. What? Oh, that's just mean. Oh, the Chiefs will find a way to the, – the refs will find a way to help the Chiefs win. They'll still, still put him on the field. Oh, God. I know. That's unbelievable. It, it was a – they're – they were a toe away from being a toe and two flags away from being zero and three. I know it's yeah. it's crazy, and I still think that they may have gotten a little too much help this last week. Uh, the, I didn't watch it. I watched like part of the fourth quarter because we went to a bar. Yeah, it, it wasn't I didn't really watch it. It wasn't egregious, you know what I mean? But it was just like ah, come on. Week two and week three were fucking obvious. Yeah, they were bad. Yeah, but hey, man, the script says they need to win. The, the script wants them to three P. That's exactly right. Uh, but anyways, get the, those Swifties happy. Last questions for hot topics: What NFL team has been the biggest letdown or biggest surprise so far? Surprise? Would, I haven't. Like, like I said, I know just a little bit, but I would say the biggest surprise would be the Sam Darnold. Fuck mm-hmm. yeah. That's mine. A hundred percent that's mine. Sam Darnold is a good quarterback in Minnesota. Good for him. Good for fucking him. I always thought, I mean, because he always got raw deal. I mean, they put him on the shittiest teams. Oh, Those Jets God. teams, they never did anything to help him out. And then they put him on an even worse team in Carolina. Yeah. Uh, biggest disappointment for me is Jacksonville Jaguars. Yeah, that was one. There's one more to me that I thought I was shocked that they're doing as poorly as they are doing. Cincinnati? Uh, well, oh, that's a good one. That's another good one, too. Uh, but for me, it was the Arizona Cardinals. They were geared and ready to go to be a high-powered offense uh, with Kyler being 100%. And then they have Marvin Harrison Jr. They have Trey McBride. Like, they have uh, James Conner. They have the everything they need to have a pa- high-powered offense. And they have just looked like shit, especially last week against a, a uh, Washington defense that's supposed to be putting up points. I just I just don't think – I think they've been a letdown. I agree with you 100% on Jacksonville, too, uh, and Cincinnati. What about the St. Louis Rams? Uh, they're Yeah, they're a little bit of a disappointment. They're 0-0, was- so, yeah, <laughs> they're 0-0. You know what I mean? Uh, but anyways, ladies well, and gentlemen. What's his name? Their fucking quarterback. Kurt Warner? Uh, yeah, and Sam Darnold. And Sam Darnold. Yeah. No. Same time. <laughs> Same time. <laughs> that's a, they, they have two. No, the two-quarterback thing, the, that's risky. No, uh, Sam Bradford is who I meant to say. But the Rams it. quarterback? Yeah. Bradford. He Mark was, Bulger? Yeah, Mark Bulger, too. All of those guys. Kurt Warner, Sam Bradford, Mark Bulger. Uh, that is hot topics for this week. What, Jeremy? What happened to Stafford? Uh, Matt Stafford is in L.A., not in St. Louis. Weren't we talking about the Rams? Sa- uh, we're talking about St. Louis, Louis Rams. Rams. Yeah. 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 Got it. <laughs> Are they not still in St. Louis? No. No, they're in L.A. No. Huh. Yeah. Yeah, they moved. <laughs> when the Cardinals came back? Yeah, 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 right. Uh, yeah, right. Uh, but anyways, they're that, going back to Chicago. I heard. <laughs> oh, I are they? So. I think so. Okay, we could use another team. Absolutely. Mm-hmm. Uh, that is hot topics for this week. Now we get to move on to the fun parts of the show. Let's kick this right off because this is going to be a long episode. Uh, let's kick this off with "Never Have I Ever." First one comes in from Dev Dev. He wants to know: Never have I ever pretended to be retarded. I pretended to be normal. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> to try to hide your retardedness? Yes. Absolutely. Isn't that what I just did? <laughs> <laughs> Derek has a fun accent that he does. Yeah, I, I do. Yeah, he I, does. So I guess I, you could say that I have pretended. <laughs> you should do You should do a ringer kind of thing. You should try to go out for the Olympics. No, I'd yeah. get crushed. Those are some good <laughs> fucking athletes. I know. I would get fucking destroyed. I, my ego could not take it. Fucking Jamal Charles would show up. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. I forgot about that. <laughs> Sorry. Those anyway, fuckers are strong. I would get destroyed in the tug of war. Oh, uh, for sure. Uh, no, I have never ever pretended to be retarded. I just naturally am. Uh, Jeremy, I I don't know about retarded, but I have certainly made pretended like I just don't get it, <laughs> and just look at people blank faced when they tell me just obvious, easy to understand shit, and just be like. <laughs> do you drool a little bit sometimes oh okay sure naturally whatever you gotta do and just intentionally confuse everything that they're saying <laughs> get it all mixed up get it all wrong 
cool. I, I especially love doing that with uh, telemarketers. Oh, yeah, absolutely. That's that's a good way to do that. Uh, next one comes in from Sean Wood. He wants to know, never have I ever tried masturbating while taking a dump. Ah, the old slumpkin. <laughs> <laughs> that's what I call it. Yeah, sure. Uh, that's just good old multitasking. Right? Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> absolutely not. I've never tried to do this. Till to kill two birds with one gum mm-hmm. shot. <laughs> <laughs> just takes a little bit of extra paper. You're already getting some anyway. Uh, yeah, yeah, absolutely. That's Kleenexes, though, for the other one. Toilet paper, Kleenexes. Can you, or can Would you a bidet both? make it easier to clean up jizz? <laughs> I don't know. Maybe. But have you Probably ever done not. This? Have you ever done this, Derek? What's that? Have you, you ever done this? Jerked off and took a shit at the same time? Yeah. No. <laughs> no. You thought about it? No. Okay. No, usually when I'm shitting, I'm TikToking. <laughs> okay. Or calling my mom. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Um, so that, that that brings okay i get I'm it like hey how are you i'm uh, just thinking about you <laughs> how about you jeremy i don't know if i've ever done it while actually taking a shit but i have gone into the bathroom pretending to shit when i really was <laughs> jerking off <laughs> oh oh that's good stuff uh all right next one comes in from chip willett he wants to know never have i ever had a natural disaster destroy my hometown oh too soon uh kind of two days in a row for me (laughs) yeah oh really yeah it was in april of like 99 or some shit uh tornado hit and it hit again like the very next day oh god um there was a fish plate like a bait a bait shop called max tackle and it had a huge, uh, like, bass uh, as the sign. It was like a giant taxidermy. Oh, bass. yeah, you told it us about fucking that before. huge. And a fucking tree branch got chucked into it, and it looked like it was hooked. They left it there. <laughs> they left it yeah, there. Yeah, they left it that way for years. Wow. But, uh, yeah, so, yeah, it there was uh, two days in a row tornadoes destroyed. I think they hit the same part of town. Oh, God, yeah. God really hated mm-hmm. them. Yeah. Uh, that was a message right there. That's and then, right. And then he was like, you know what? Now you get crack. <laughs> uh, the only so one, it might have been a blessing in disguise. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, the only one I think has happened to us w- would have been uh, the finger of God in Andover, but it wasn't Wichita. Yeah. That, that was the F5. That oh, was, there's been plenty that have come through Wichita. Has there? Well, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. There definitely has. But they always, like, never go downtown. They always are on the outskirts, like Hayesville, where all the trailers are. Mm. So, yeah. No, not for me. Hey, how about you, Jeremy? Um, not while I was there, but... And, and, and quite a bit before I was there. Uh, in 1885, my hometown of Cunningham was destroyed by a, a tornado. It was actually called Niniska. Oh. Back then. And they rebuilt it with big donations from a philanthropist whose last name was Cunningham. Oh. So nice. I get it. So I really didn't live through it, but I got to experience in, 18, or in 1985 the centennial cunningham centennial oh cool was a hell of a celebration yeah we had turtle races and everything did they honor you we had a cow shit throwing contest <laughs> did they really oh and and it was in 85 so i mean everybody's still talking about the triple play oh absolutely i sure hope you threw it better than your first pitch yeah no shit <laughs> <laughs> yeah i did uh, i was i was in my prime then oh and you know that yeah. whole defensive mindset is really what ruined me for baseball <laughs> later on because I became of the mindset that uh, the best offense is a good defense, right? Which a lot of experts will say that doesn't make any sense in baseball. Um, maybe they're right, uh, but I got into it so much that I would actually go up to bat wearing my glove, <laughs> and if they threw inside, I would catch it and throw down and pick off one of my own guys. <laughs> Whatever it took to get that defense back on the field. Yeah. That's what I was all about. Well, you got to keep the wolves out of the outfit. That's right. No wolves. Yeah, we we wouldn't have had them. No. <laughs> Coyote, maybe. Maybe. Uh, next one. Next two actually come in from Braxton Lent. He wants to know, never have I ever tried to prove I was still athletic and hurt myself. <laughs> <laughs> uh, apparently, Jeremy has done that. Does walking count? <laughs> You were trying to show off walking? Mm-hmm. Did you try to do a crip walk or something like that? Yeah. No. Yeah, I see walk. <laughs> yeah, I see walk. <laughs> Got it. Uh, yeah, I, I absolutely have done this. I was uh, I was in like a local park playing basketball, and uh, I was trying to act good, and these guys, they asked me to come over and play, and I played one 
to maybe two plays and sprained my fucking ankle and had to sit out and watch them use my ball. Nice. Yeah, it sucked. And I was like 28. How about you, Derek? Uh, I was never athletic, so I didn't have to prove shit. Still, uh, <laughs> uh, how about foot race? You still got to, me and you still got to have a foot race. Oh, I would smoke Let's so do bad. it. Let's do it. I actually, got, I'd like to see the two of you in a three-legged race. <laughs> <laughs> But you're competing with each other. <laughs> uh, that's good. <laughs> I love it. Oh, fuck, I missed you. <laughs> it's so great. <laughs> anyway. I missed half you guys. Thanks, man. Appreciate that. <laughs> Thanks, guys. No, I've, uh, I haven't tried to play basketball in a while. That's what I used to play all the time. Yeah. Um, I did take... Horse. No, 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 never played a horse. Uh, <laughs> a lot of humans. Okay. Uh, dog once. Okay. Uh, never a wolf. Damn. Uh, I wonder if they're good at basketball. They they got a crossover. They do. Yeah, they got a fucking <laughs> wicked crossover. Great. They, what they do is they bite your dick and then they go to the left <laughs> every time. Nice. Yeah, you know they're going to the left, but you can't stop them because you're grabbing your dick. <laughs> yeah, horses do suck though at basketball. They <laughs> yeah, can't, they're terrible. They cannot palm it. Nope. <laughs> nope. At all. Nope. Uh, they got hooves. Uh, they have metal horseshoes, and they are Jordans. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I would like to see Michael Jordan sponsor horseshoes. <laughs> Sadly, it would just be the event, like yeah. throwing shoes. Oh, yeah. Jesus Christ. Uh, but no, yeah, I've tried uh, tried playing basketball. The last time I tried to play, I was still okay. Okay. Um, now, you. I would suck shit. Yeah. Uh, it would take some time. Yep. But. Uh, next one, last one, uh, also comes in from Braxton. He wants to know, never have I ever bought my significant other a gift that was really for me. I don't think I have. Really? I really don't think I have. Never. No. Oh. That centaur ain't for you? <laughs> okay, yeah, yeah, okay. Okay, you got me there. You got me. You got you me. You got me there. Yeah. I forget the centaur sometimes. I think I just need to put it on a t-shirt. I think so. Yeah, I think that'd be a good idea. I think that might be her birthday present. Mm-hmm. We, her got a, we, got another, we got another anniversary coming up. Oh, perfect. It's a big one. It's, it's 10, 10 years. Yeah, yours yours is after ours. And it's in 10 days. That's right. I think that. I think we just figured uh, out your 10-year anniversary. What mythological creature are you going this time? <laughs> I'm just going to put it on a t-shirt. Okay. Oh. Okay. Yeah. Same same painting. Same painting, just uh, on a T-shirt. I uh, yeah. We, that could, this is easy. We can easily do I this. I might have to do that. Get She's a, get gone her, a lot. Yeah, actually. but in ten days. Yeah, get her a velvet T-shirt. Yeah. Make it velvet. Have uh, the painting on it. I think it'd be great. Great idea. Yep. I think we figured it out. Uh, yeah. Po- I I bought my wife pots and pans and all kinds of other stuff like that, so that way <laughs> she can cook me food. Uh, I've uh, I've bought my wife lingerie. That's something for me, not for her. Well, so, more shit to take off. Mm-hmm. I, I know. I, I make away. I make it simple. I you know I, I get the simple stuff. That's it. The flammable. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's flavored. All right. <laughs> <laughs> it's flavored. It's edible. And now you're shaved. <laughs> <laughs> Good stuff. Uh, yes, I have. Uh, how about you, Jeremy? I don't think so. My wife loves her table saw. <laughs> <laughs> she loves her PlayStation. She loves that new gun I built for her. Right. Uh, did you get any sweet potatoes, Jerry? They're out of season. <laughs> okay, fine. She loves her sweet potato gun. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> absolutely. That gun is for shooting sweet potatoes. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that it's is a hate crime. <laughs> <laughs> that is never have I ever. Now we get to move on to that's where I draw the line. Uh, we're gonna keep it moving. First one comes in from at Goodnight Cole. He wants to know how long would you stay in the line if, or I'm sorry, I take that back. He wants to know how long would you stay on the line if a friend puts you on hold? Hmm. Twenty. Probably, probably not at all. Yeah, twenty seconds. I'll give you twenty seconds, and that's max. Mm. It, it, you can call me back. Yeah. Yeah, you can call me back. I, I, you're my friend. I, I completely understand. Just I don't even put people on hold anymore. From now on, whenever you call me, I'm going to text Jerry and be like, hey, call me real quick. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Scotty, uh, let me put you on hold real quick. Yeah. All right. Fuck. Thanks, Jeremy. Talk to you later. Yeah, <laughs> yeah that's that's about it. How about you, Derek? Me? I probably wouldn't stay on hold. Yeah. Yeah, no. I, 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 I agree. I don't even really want you to call me. Uh, well, I don't. No, I mean in general. I, I, I don't want people to call me. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I would just text me. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, yep. And then if I if you get a response, we're good. Yeah, yeah. cool. How about you, Jeremy? All day. All day? You all stay day. All day. Yep. 
Oh, I got nothing else to do on our What a good friend. <laughs> I'll what just a- set the phone down somewhere else. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I remember as a kid. I, I don't mean to brag, but I have unlimited service. <laughs> <laughs> good for phone. you. I good don't have you. to use up my anytime minutes for this. Awesome. Awesome. Uh, let's see. Next one comes in from Roger Colton. He wants to know where you draw the line. Having drinks with your coworkers that are not from your generation. What, what do you mean? So they're not your age. They're in a different age, so they're so, younger than you. Because so we're you, becoming old now. Where do you draw the line at? Yeah, what like, 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 like how, how many drinks are you going to have? Or? Yeah, like I, no, I think I kind of understand this, and I, we can kind of interpret it the way that we want to anyways. But, but like, you, you ever get asked to go out for drinks after work, like with coworkers, and some of the coworkers are of a different generation that yeah. you can't really – yeah, I'm, I can't do that. Man, I tried to do that with the Texas Roadhouse people when I worked at the O. Yeah. Fuck, man. I kept up for till like a, probably I'd say I kept up to about 12:30 and then I couldn't fucking see straight. Right. Oh my yeah, god. No. no, the stamina goes. Yeah. Uh, stamina goes. And I'm I'm with you. I agree. I, I wasn't tired. I was just fucked, fucked up. up. Yeah. yeah. Like alcohol hits you harder and then the hangover hits you harder the next morning. So, yeah. I I'm I'm with you there. How about you, Jeremy? Okay. If it's old timers, if they're older than me, I could hang out with old timers all fucking day. Mate, same. They're mm-hmm. they're going home at nine. That's right. Um, younger than me, I I just wouldn't even attempt it. Uh, I yeah, I'm I agree. My same age probably wouldn't even attempt it. <laughs> yeah. I I really, and I don't know if this makes me a dick, and I don't care if it does. I don't carry social relationships with the overwhelming majority of my my coworkers. I keep my work life there and my home life home. Same. Like it. Uh, next one comes in from Maximus Peos. He is from Australia. Maximum Peyote. What, yeah, what Maximum that? Peyote. Heck nice. yeah. Yeah, he's from down under, though. And he has an That is a real fucking name. <laughs> Maybe it is. I have no idea. Uh, but he wants to know how much would it take for you to box a full sized kangaroo without gloves? How many drinks? Or? No, how much would you take? Like, how, how much would it take to pay you to box I'm, a I'm kangaroo? not wearing gloves, or he's not wearing gloves? Uh, he's not. Is the medical... Why cover? do I got to wear gloves? Uh, you don't necessarily have to if you don't want to. Protect your, Just protect your knuckles. Just things up. Yeah. Yeah. Six-ounce gloves. Yeah, okay. That's what you're wearing. Whatever. Six-ounce gloves. Okay. How much would it take to, to pay you to fight a kangaroo? A full size kangaroo. fight or box box fight whatever no no it's not whatever if okay. it's if I can use my jujitsu on him yeah then for sure I'll take him I'm not gonna get in a straight up boxing match I don't have those kind of skills my footwork never been good okay I say MMA you can you can fight this kangaroo how much would it take seventy five bucks <laughs> <laughs> how long do you think you would last <laughs> a minute and a half okay. Just long enough for him to realize we're fighting. <laughs> <laughs> fucking cold cock him. Just catch him off guard. Right. And then when he looks at me, after I've hit him with everything I have, <laughs> then you I run throw away. in the towel. Okay. Fair enough. Just because I really do want to hit a kangaroo. I, Fuck those fuckers. I've seen videos of people that do it. Like one guy was like trying to protect a, mm. protect a dog and just like smacked it. And this kangaroo just kind of looked like stood up and goes, did you just fucking hit me? Kind of a look. Uh, but no, they're like baseball players, solid slabs of muscle. Yeah, they will fuck you up and they may not, they'll, they'll claw at you, but they're going to kick well, you. You know what? Yeah. They're not going to fight with their hands. They're going to kick the shit out of I you. I think they could steal 50 bases. <laughs> Maybe. Probably. They're yeah. pretty quick. They're pretty mm-hmm. quick. But they don't, they don't really practice their pop-up slides. Yeah, I know. I've noticed that. They right. got bad technique. You, you try putting that fucking oven mitt thing on their hand. No. Oh. <laughs> They, they don't like to wear it. They'll jam fingers. Yeah, absolutely. And then they're out for six weeks. Well, when they steal a base, it's for keeps, too, because they put it in their pouch and then run away. <laughs> and run away. Yeah. So absolutely. that way you're always safe. Yeah, they play for it's keeps. It's a good strategy. <laughs> uh-huh. Uh, everybody answer? Derek, did you answer? No, I'd do it for 500 bucks. 500 bucks? Okay, yeah. that's good. Uh, next one comes in from Will Gonzalez from Orlando. He wants to know, how many bad hangovers would it take for someone to stop drinking? Well, for me... I'm still counting, and I don't know. I've lost count. They're bad. Whenever they happen, they suck. They say whenever you have a drinking problem, first thing to go is your counting skills. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Whoops. <laughs> I guess. Uh, how about you? Can you? Do you know how many you have? How many what? Bad hangovers. I've had probably really bad ones. Probably two. Oh, really? I don't really get hangovers. 
Wow. I just get kind of lethargic and tired the next day and Ugh. don't really want to do much. Man, that's uh, a hangover. That's no, because I don't. I don't get sick. I don't fucking have headaches. I don't. My stomach. I'm not have, throwing up. I'm not. Yeah, I don't have any of that either. I don't have headaches or or throwing up. I I just am really lazy and feel like blah. I don't feel like blah. I'm just lazy. Oh, uh, okay. So it, it's a little bit different than normal. Yeah, but let me tell <laughs> yeah. you, whenever you have a really really bad one, you're probably not drinking for at least a week. Oh, it'll usually it's a couple weeks. So yeah, exactly. Yeah, but how about you, Jeremy? Well, I pretty well quit drinking. Yep. Just because the fucking hangovers and and just the negative shit and i don't need it yeah I, it turns out i don't need it to be fun true You're, i think you i'm need just it to be not fun, fun. <laughs> <laughs> i don't want to be fucking fun okay fair you enough want, you want fun you go to a fucking carnival dick <laughs> well we would if you would fucking finish clown college yeah well then i'd be fun yeah because <laughs> i'm going to be one of those weird french clowns too <laughs> <laughs> they're fun i think that's a mime jeremy no. Oh. No, no. We're talking the French clowns. They make balloon animals that look like, you know, fucking Holocaust survivors. <laughs> <laughs> it's just all all avant-garde. Oh my God. <laughs> Jesus Christ. All right. Last one comes in that's, from Matthew Rothermich. That's talent. You ever tried to tattoo a balloon? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I have. <laughs> and, <laughs> and it ain't, it ain't easy. <laughs> That's what what I've been spending most of my time practicing instead of going to clown college. Yeah. Ah. The two things, tattooing balloons and, mm-hmm. and pimping. Those are the two things that yeah. are not easy. That's right. Uh, last one comes in from Matthew Rothermich. He wants to know, what is the most ridiculous distance to put a restraining order for someone? Six feet. <laughs> just draw a line. Yeah. Just right in front of you. Just uh-uh. You stay on that side of the living room. <laughs> That's it. That's, Don't yeah. even come near me. <laughs> that really was the first restraining orders ever. Just she, that yeah. side's yours, this side's mine. Uh, but I don't know, like uh, restraining orders from like bordering states. I don't know if those even happen, but um, maybe like hundreds and hundreds of miles away. Like you can't come anywhere near that. Don't come within 500 miles of a school. <laughs> 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 it's impossible. How about you, Jeremy? I would have liked to have seen Harrison Schmidt's wife put one on him while he was on the moon. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. And you have to stay 238,000 miles away. <laughs> oh, God. Well, we know who's going to Mars. Uh, but ladies and gentlemen, that is huh? this week's... Huh? What? Yeah, you got uh, Elon Musk. He's trying to have a, a spaceship go to yeah, Mars. Yeah, and yeah, pop- yeah, he's got to go to Mars. Yeah. Yeah. That's all I was saying. What's that got to do with Harrison Schmidt and his bitch wife? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, Jeremy. Uh, but that is this week's That's Where I Draw the Line. Now we get to move on to questions and preguntas. Jeremy Joseph's favorite part of every mm-hmm. single episode. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Uh, the first two are coming in from Mason Lind. He wants to know, bad times to flip a coin. I would say probably trying to decide when you're done wiping your ass. <laughs> Yeah. All right. Let me see. Do I go for one? Sw- all right. Looks like it's a ghost poop. <laughs> That's all right. Oh, my God. Uh, whether or not you have to evacuate an area because of a, t- uh, of a hurricane. All right. That's a bad time to flip a coin. And I'm sure it's done. How about you, Jeremy? Uh, when two people are handcuffed together. <laughs> <laughs> One of them hands got to go. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe they're, they're good at it, Jeremy. Uh, they're good at what? I don't know. They're, team, they're teaming it up. Right, but you're flipping the coin to see whose hand gets cut off <laughs> oh. so that the both of you can go free. Gotcha. All right. Uh, next one from Mason comes in. He wants to know, who would be the worst families to have on Family Feud? Be welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to a very special seven-hour episode of Family Feud featuring the Philip Rivers family. <laughs> and they're playing against the Nick Cannon family. <laughs> oh, absolutely. Uh, the oh, I don't know. I'm, I'm trying to think of oh, the Manson family. That mm-hmm. would be a bad one. Yeah. Jeremy? The Sopranos? Yeah, that would be terrible. Oh. And the Adams. Yeah. <laughs> I would watch the shit out of that. I would family too. Family feud. Yeah, the Munsters and the Adams family. I think they could pull that off, right? 
No. Okay. I think that's been done. Probably. I would like to see, because you know Tony Soprano would just get so fed up with the Adams Family's bullshit. <laughs> yeah. So quick. Absolutely. This fucking guy's not even talking. It's a fucking thing of hair. He's all fucking hair. <laughs> <laughs> He's getting in the gaggle. <laughs> all right. Uh, I'm giving him the fucking answers. Next one comes in from Nathan Mancusi. Uh, he wants to know, a boy becomes a man when he blanks. I actually know the answer to this. Okay. All right. Pays cash money for dirt. <laughs> <laughs> that is the sign that you are in adulthood. You have come full circle and you are paying for dirt because <laughs> it needs to happen. Otherwise, your basement will start flo stop flooding. Yeah, that's, that's true. Uh, how about you, Derek? When you're too old for Diddy to fuck. <laughs> oh fuck. Yeah. Yeah, that's uh that's good. I I honestly think you become a man the f I mean, I think it's the first time you actually have sex. I think that would be the first time you become a man. You think so? I think so. Okay. Whenever you have it after the well, age doesn't that kind of count? <laughs> doesn't that kind of count though with the whole Diddy thing? Yeah, yeah, it's true. Because it would have become men way sooner. Oh, that's true. God dang it! That's what I was kind of thinking. Maybe when you voluntarily have sex for the first time, you want to go with that? Maybe, maybe. Um, it's your fucking answer. I don't yeah. know. I'm just questioning your rationale. Uh, it's bad rationale, anyways. There, it sure Jamie. is. Yep. Uh, next one comes in from Peyton Blakely. Uh, they want to know, cause I don't know if that's a guy or a girl. Uh, but other than freak offs, what would you use 1000 bottles of baby oil for to put on a thousand doorknobs? <laughs> that's great. <laughs> that, Holy shit. That would be fantastic. <laughs> I don't know. Well, Let me out. <laughs> I'd do it in Appalachia. <laughs> oh my God. I don't know why this is coming into my head, and I don't know if it would be fun or awful, but can you imagine filling in like an Olympic-sized swimming pool with baby oil and trying to swim? Yeah, it's yes, in the I Regal. Can. It's in the Regal? Yeah. Okay. That's Olympic size. That's yeah. Olympic size wow. swimming pool. Yeah. Wow. That's impressive. Is it just a lane or an actual Olympic size swimming pool? No, it's Olympic size. What's the suspension like on it? Oh, shit. <laughs> Fucking good. Baller, man. How about you, Jeremy? Do what now? What's what's the question? <laughs> I got 38 tweeters under that name. <laughs> sure you do. They're all suspended in baby oil. <laughs> Other than freak offs, what would you use 1,000 bottles of baby oil for? Um, I would coat the stage at every production of Riverdance. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. That would be fucking fantastic. I would coat the hands of every sleight of hand magician. <laughs> That's Shit. that's and fucking again, great. What's that behind your ear? <laughs> Get somebody right in the what's eye. What's that behind your ear? <laughs> Seems to be having some trouble here. <laughs> oh my god! Uh, all right. Uh, yeah, that, that's good. Uh, last one comes in from Matthew Rothermich. He wants to know rejected ways to masturbate while doing a headstand. <laughs> <laughs> in the middle of DDP yoga. Yeah. That's how you know when you become a Jedi. <laughs> <laughs> uh, how about you, Jeremy? I don't know if there are any. <laughs> Two-handed? If yeah. it gets the job done, it gets the job done. And a buffet line? Like a Ryan's buffet? Yeah. Yeah, that'd be bad. Yeah, that's more of a Golden Corral thing. Sure. <laughs> yeah. I, I can't jerk it to shepherd's pie. <laughs> God dang it. I could come in a chocolate fountain, though. Mm -hmm. I'm sure you could. That's your favorite thing in the world, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Yep. Uh, but ladies and gentlemen, that is this week's questions and preguntas. Guys, thank you so very much for participating in Monday Funday. Uh, keep your eyes peeled every Friday. I put that out on all of the social media platforms. And uh, if we like your comment, we'll put it on the show and give you a shout out. So, yeah. Uh, Did we have another segment? Oh, yeah, that's right. We do. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome back uh, Mr. Jeremy Joseph and Bad Advice with Jeremy Joseph. 
I did forget about that. I do apologize, Mr. Mr. Joseph. My uh, apology is not accepted. I figured it probably wouldn't be. I'm not all that shocked anyways. Uh, but ladies and gentlemen, yes, uh, Bad Advice with Jeremy this week uh, comes in from Mason Cole. Uh, and he uh, writes, Dear Jeremy, I am a third-year college student who has yet to lose his virginity. Have a, go- have a girlfriend or even a first kiss. I was talking to a girl on Tinder, but she ghosted me. How should I prevent this from happening again, and what avenues would you use other than Tinder to make it happen? Okay. Well, first I'm going to give you advice on... Uh, God, what to do with yourself? <laughs> no, I'm not. Um, you, you sound like a very sad boy. This is actually how I picture the lives of most of the listeners of this show. <laughs> it, it really is. Um, but no, I you need to make some changes about yourself, your personality. I'm sure what it is is you're coming on too strong. You're maybe sending up some red flags. You got to play things cool. What uh, one thing women like? They like that mysterious bad boy type thing. Uh, that's who you got to be. So um, refuse to give her your real name. <laughs> Start with that. Tell her that your military rank and the last four of your social security numbers <laughs> should be sufficient for now. <laughs> and uh, on your military rank, give her a very impressive sounding rank that doesn't actually exist, like Corporal Cor- Colonel. Um, <laughs> uh, you can uh, maybe take some new profile pictures where you adopt that tough guy look, you know, get a, a leather jacket, and maybe you're eating an apple off of a switchblade. <laughs> <laughs> Start smoking. <laughs> tell you're in, tell her you're in a gang, like a dangerous one. Tell her you're in the Taliban. <laughs> you may have to adapt an, an accent for that, but <coughs> it works. Um, girls like experience and confidence. So I know you say you're a virgin. You can't let her know that. You've got to tell her that you have been with uh, some women. Tell her like 25,000 women <laughs> oh, <God>. and give <laughs> her details, uh, graphic details. Uh, uh, Watch a lot of porn, take notes. <laughs> um, you know, just kind of play it cool. You don't want to, you don't want to come off like too over anxious, too over excited. You know, you got to make her think. You know, hey, I could take your lever. You know, uh, give her a, a nickname that indicates that, yeah, whatever. You know, um, you know, something like uh, wheat paste <laughs> or or retard. <laughs> Just something along those lines. Those are those are good nicknames to give. Um, whenever she makes a statement, your immediate response needs to start with the word whatever. <laughs> um, now, eventually, though, you do have to show some genuine interest in her. Let her know that you really are interested in her and every bit of her. Uh, ask a lot of questions about her bush. Um, <laughs> oh, God. Uh, send random poo pics <laughs> just to let her know how regular you are. Uh, dick pics are, uh, they're, they're old. Oh okay. God. Be original. Um, <sighs> tell her that Scotty is your dad and that he finds you very attractive. <laughs> oh, Women seem to be attracted to people that other people find attractive. Oh. Um, tell her you're the, uh, the alto cellist for the half hearted cartwheels. <laughs> <laughs> That's a band that I manage. And uh, I'll back you up on this. <laughs> However, don't contact me to do it. Um, give her interesting facts about yourself. Like, tell her you're a Fig Newton fanatic. <laughs> and describe things as being Newton-tastic. Uh, oh and... Uh, You know, however, girls do like a guy who can be vulnerable, who can open up this whole you've never kissed a girl thing. Um, You can actually make that work. Uh, Tell her that you've never actually kissed a girl, but make sure she knows the reason for that is because you actually prefer tongue and ass. (laughs) (laughs) So that's what you do if you want to stick with the Tinder, the online shit. If you don't want to do that, actually go out and meet somebody. There's plenty of places that you can go um if if i were you i would start hanging out by abortion clinics (laughs) those chicks definitely fuck (laughs) and they got low standards and that's my advice oh my god yeah yeah those uh those abortion clinics they're kind of uh, oh, they're full 
Jews. <laughs> they sure <laughs> are. Uh, but ladies and gentlemen, that is Bad Advice with Jeremy Joseph, everybody. Thank you guys so very much for everything. Uh, and thank you very much, uh, Mr. Mason Cole. Uh, but now uh, we get to move on to a very popular part of every single episode. This is the Laughing on the Sidelines Draft. All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is this week's Laughing on the Sidelines draft, and uh, I technically win because I was the only one here from last week's show. Uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, the only way you'll ever win. Exactly. I actually, I actually won a draft while I was on vacation. I actually won that one, which was pretty impressive. I'll take it. What was it? Uh, Lies? No, it was uh, the drunk dr- junk drawer. Junk drawer draft. We, yeah. Uh, yeah, picked the things out of our drunk junk drawer, and mine was, uh, yeah, okay. pretty good. Uh, but anyways, this week, uh, I got to give my, uh, I got to give props to Derek on this one. I actually really like this idea. Uh, this w- this week's draft is going to be, what, the worst things, what was it? The worst things for it to rain. Yeah, the worst things for it to rain. Like that's, cloudy with a chance of meatballs, that's but it's right. different. But it's different. Uh, and uh, because I technically, I guess, am, am the winner from last week, I get the championship picks. Uh, Derek uh, is generally one of the best drafters, so we're going to put him in the middle. But uh, when Jeremy Joseph is on a show, he normally wins the draft. That's kind of how it works. Mm-hmm. Uh, so he is going to get the first overall picks. Derek is in the in the Eiffel Tower picks, and I get the championship picks. So, Jeremy Joseph, what would be the worst things for it to rain Circus peanuts. <laughs> <laughs> okay. That is an excellent pick. I like it. All right, Derek, what do you got? Uh, cans of Campbell's Chunky Soup. Dang it. Okay, that's a good one. Open or closed? Oh, closed. All oh, right. damn it. Okay. All right. That'll do some damage on your car. That is. Full cans, not empty. Right. Yeah. Is it Chunky Soup? Yeah. Chunky okay. Soup. Uh, I am going to go with bowling balls, but I'm going to go with, uh, give me a brand. Brunswick. There you go. No, it's the only brand. Nope, Storm. not that. One. Storm. I'm going to do Storm. I wanted to figure out which, uh, which bowling ball Jer- or JP bowls with, so I can't even spell right That's now. Storm. Storm. Storm bowling balls. Okay. And then uh, my second one is going to be Buick Regal Car Parts. Hey, you yeah. don't need them. They they run forever. Yeah, <laughs> that's a yeah, that's the most useless thing. They just be sitting there accumulating. Yeah, love it. All mm-hmm. right, Derek, what do you got? Period blood. Oh, that's disgusting. <laughs> oh, that's gross. Going all over the board here. Oh, oh my God, that's disgusting. That is really Mother Nature. Wow. That is. All right, Jeremy Joseph, you get two in a row. Uh, sweet potatoes. <laughs> <laughs> That's fucking great. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, (laughs) Okay. VHS copies of Sister Act 2. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, Fuck. Why are we even driving? I don't know. Oh, that's terrible. (laughs) (laughs) Okay. All right. Derek, what do you got? Feral cats. <laughs> Feral cats. Okay. Uh, all right. Got to write that down. Okay. I'm going to gonna... land on their feet. <laughs> they will. <laughs> but they're pissed. Yeah, they're mad. And they just fuck. That's <laughs> all they do. Uh-huh. Painfully. <laughs> yes. Wow. Yeah, they have barbed penises. Mm-hmm. Oh, that's terrible. So you can't pull out. Yep. Uh, I am going to go with Chuck E. Cheese tokens okay. as one. I think those would hurt. Okay. Just saying. Uh, and then I'm going to go with um, full big gulps, like the 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 fucking yeah. fountain drinks from gas stations. I don't yeah. know what it's to call them. You put the dome lid on those? Yeah. All right. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't sure. All right. Big gulps filled with pop. All right. Uh, Derek, what do you got? Frozen turkeys. All right. Ooh, fuck. That'll do some damage. All right, frozen turkeys. And then, Jeremy, your last two. Uh, I'm going to go with um, Old Spice Cologne. <laughs> okay. Oh, I would have went with high karate. <laughs> it smells a little better. 
<laughs> okay. And your last pick. Um, can, it can be anything. Yeah. Just whatever. Yeah. Hmm. God damn. <laughs> <laughs> we stumped him. We did. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, he did. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, oh man. I'm, I am going to go just because it would piss me off some pennies. <laughs> Dude, you know how much good luck you would have after a storm? Yeah, you know how long it would take to get that good luck? <laughs> it's fucking worth it. <laughs> you got you can only pick the ones that are heads up though. Yeah, that's right. Up. All the ones are Oh, are is tip. that the rule? Is that why I've been having shit luck? Cuz I sincerely I never pass a chance to pick up a penny. <laughs> I sing that fucking song in my head. <laughs> <laughs> it's fucking great. Oh, shit. Derek, what is your last pick? Uh, God, let's go with uh, Blockbuster Video Gift Card. <laughs> That's good. I like it. Uh, gift certificates. <laughs> Not okay. cards. Not cards. <laughs> yeah. Certificates. Yeah. Got it. Uh, all right. I've got some, I've, I've got quite a few uh, that I would like. Uh, I am, man, I'm going to go, I'm going to take a pick and I'm going to go with clown cars. I'd do some, hey. <laughs> do some damage. It's still small though. But I kept on thinking like of like everlasting. The car's gob- regular size. This is a lot of <laughs> yeah. Way too many clowns. Filled with clowns. Baby oil. Uh ooh, damn, that would have been a good one. The whole world would be Diddy's house. Uh I I just thought like everlasting gobstoppers. Like just hard ones. Those mm-hmm. would fucking Delicious. hurt. Oh, I know. That's why I went with Kansas soup. <laughs> oh yeah, that'd fucking hurt. Any other any other honorable mentions? He hates would that these be cans. considered hail? That's kind of why I didn't pick it. it. Was because I was like, ah, it's too close to hail. But you know, nothing. Um, uh, there's lots of shit. Oh, absolutely, of course there are. Lady Gaga's vagina, <laughs> raw meat, uh, eggs. I would, yeah, that happened actually once. Yeah, it, where it rained raw meat. Oh, it was in Kentucky, I believe. And what would happen had happened was a bunch of fucking buzzards had found these dead deer and they flew over this town and started vomiting the shit up oh and God. people thought it was just raining meat because it, it, <laughs> oh, it was meat that was the original song it's raining mm-hmm. meat yeah absolutely Hallelujah. oh god anyways but they were talking cocks <laughs> yeah <laughs> that's disgusting all right any others no thank yeah. god uh, ladies and gentlemen, that is this week's draft. You can go to facebook.com slash laughing on the sidelines or X, which is at LOT sidelines and vote for the best list of uh, things you wish it didn't rain or things that would be terrible if it were to rain it. I don't know how we're going to word that. I'm just going to use what Derek said. We're going to move on. Uh, but uh, yeah, go and vote. We appreciate that. Whoever wins gets nothing. I make it rain pennies at the titty bar. Absolutely. Vote for Ross Perot. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, ladies and gentlemen, now we get to move on to my favorite part of every single episode. This is this week's laughing on the sidelines, shitty situation of the week. All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is this week's laughing on the sidelines, shitty situation brought to you by Fanger Bang and ladies and gentlemen, Legos. All right, Jeremy Joseph. Okay, you guys remember when I first started doing these, one of the first, like, I'm going to say third or fourth thing I did was the uh, Texas City chain reaction. That's where a a bunch of uh, freighter ships in Galveston Bay by Texas City that were carrying ammonium nitrate, one of them exploded, causing a big fucking chain reaction where all these boats did, and it killed basically the entire fire department plus a bunch of other people. Yeah. Well, some cities get all the luck. And... uh, (laughs) Because on March, that was back in 1947 when that happened. On March 23rd, 2005, at the uh, BP oil refinery, still in Texas City, um, some of the sensory equipment failed on uh, one of the reservoir tanks that held some of the refined oil. Uh, there was a big stack where the, the flammable fumes came off of that. Well, this thing was getting too full, and so way too many fumes were coming out of this to be safe. 
Um, there was a lot of major construction also going on at the time, and one of the construction workers had left his pickup truck idling nearby, and uh, those fumes basically got started getting sucked in through the air intake oh, nice. of this thing. So it was essentially like somebody was just stepping on the fucking gas, but it was doing it by itself. It was because <laughs> the air itself was flammable, uh, incredibly flammable, and it kept doing this until the pickup's engine blew up, which ignited the rest of the flammable uh, gases, which then blew up the entire reservoir tank full of refined oil. And like I say, there was a lot of construction going on. So there were these construction trailers around, each one of them with a propane tank hooked up to them. So once again, we had a chain reaction oh. of this fucking reservoir and the fucking trailers just boom, 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 boom. So uh, yeah, that happened there. And uh, by the time it was all said and done with it, it killed 15 people, but severely injured 180 more. Wow. And now your child can recreate the magic of this moment <laughs> using nothing but a little imagination and Legos. Legos, everything's bigger and better in Texas. <laughs> <laughs> Especially uh, Texas City. Yeah. How bad would that suck? You can't do anything about that. No. Nobody's stepping on. I guess shut the fucking thing off. Yeah. But, yeah. I don't know. Uh, but so sorry. Uh, BP is such a good company. <laughs> Very ethical. Right. Uh, but, ladies and gentlemen, this week's Laughing on the Sidelines shitty situation is, would you rather, anytime that you masturbate, you either have to be taking a shit or standing on your head. Yeah. There's a problem with trying to do it when you're standing on your head. Well, you can lean against the wall. Oh, you can? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, you haven't seen You don't it. have to be a fucking acrobat. This ain't Cirque du Soleil, Scott. <laughs> yeah. I, 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 mean, I, I, Jeremy went to clown college just so he could do this. Uh, well, I, I had to retake headstands. I'd... I, I guess I'm I guess I'm standing on my head. Yeah? Yeah. Maybe maybe the blood rushing to my head would be euphoric. Hopefully you don't get jizz up your nose. That's kind of the other problem I was thinking about. <laughs> maybe I'm never jerking off ever again. This this is a bad deal. I couldn't I couldn't jerk off taking a shit. I, I would be doing it taking a shit. I, I it's how double could, relief. I I get it, but I don't I don't know. I, I don't know. I think this is a bad way. Uh, this is bad it, it, either way. So it's a shitty situation. Yeah, it literally is. It literally is. Yeah. 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 Okay. All right. Uh, d Jeremy, dare I ask? <laughs> I think I'm doing the headstands. Okay. Hey. Uh, as a stand-up comedian, I'm all about the performance arts. <laughs> <laughs> And I feel like that's what this really is. It's not even about sexual gratification. It's about the art. Yeah. Right. You know, I love art. <laughs> Absolutely. You know, hopefully you're not jerking off and you have to shit and you're in the headstand. <laughs> yeah. Holy fucking Christ. Wow. That'd be terrible. That'd be like that a s'more sprinkler. <laughs> oh, God. And they called it the aristocrat. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, my Lord. That would be awful. Ugh. Would it, though? <laughs> <laughs> I, I just recently had like all hardwood floors put in <coughs> so it should clean up pretty easy yeah i guess that's true good for you there buddy thanks uh-huh thank you scotty yeah oh ladies and gentlemen it's been another an, another fun episode especially with the original crew thank you guys mr Derek the wreck alders and jeremy joseph j joe yeah. j joe sorry absolutely ah yeah and this uh, kind of happened when we were off on break it kind of came up and it was a good question and i think we need to answer it uh, but the question was uh now we have diddy and uh who was the other one r kelly r kelly that's right they are now going to be imprisoned and derek made the comment of man that fucking choir is going to be fucking lit at that jail and derek turned looked at jeremy and goes what's the name of that band jeremy i I think child's play. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. All right. That's just that's just what I was saying. Okay, that's fine. The, uh, I, we were going to go with uh, the Kitty Diddlers, but that was the name of our monster truck, wasn't it? <laughs> oh, the God. Kitty Diddler. Oh, boy. I don't know. I don't know. Did you have one there, Derek, or no? I, I think I just said Kitty Diddy. Yeah, the Kitty Diddy. All yeah. right, that's, that's good. Mm. 
Uh, but anyways, ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much. We sincerely do appreciate it. I cannot believe this is episode 300. It's crazy. Hopefully by next week, my voice is back. Uh, it doesn't have to be. No, maybe it's gone. You know what? Maybe to you guys, you get, guys are just like, nah. Hopefully we get Otis in here. That's yeah. what I was going to say. Yeah, something like that. Uh, but as always, guys, thank you guys so very, very much. If you uh, like this episode or if you like our stuff, keep doing what you're doing. Share, comment, like. That helps us grow the show. Uh, and now we have a crew, which I think is pretty awesome, and, and they're all great. So thank you very much for all of you guys doing what you do. And as we always like to say. I, before oh, you get oh, to this sorry, part, sorry. since you have a crew, are you going to start a rowing team? Uh, maybe. I don't, I don't know about you, but I think JP would be a little winded after the first try. I think he'd be a hell of a coxswain. Uh, oh, would I? Yeah. Oh, okay. All right. Fair enough. You're uh, anything cock. Yeah. Anything? Yeah. yeah. All right. Fair enough. I'll take it. If you do start that rowing team, could you please exclude me? <laughs> <laughs> of course, Jeremy. I'm not a seafarer. I know. You know it, that. Of course. Clowns uh, belong on land. That's right. Uh, but as we always like to say, guys, do us a favor. If you like us, tell your friends. But if you don't like us... Uh, we hope you blow your knee out, crip walking at church. <laughs> oh, God. If you don't like us... Tell your enemy. And until next time, guys. Sister Act 2, now on video cassette. <laughs> <laughs> until next time... Keep laughing at We will see y'all later. Take care. <laughs>